Welcome to Zero Page Elm Brew, and well, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 games, broadcasting at 60 frames a second. Welcome to Sunday. <laughs> Welcome to another show. Yes. It's Tanya Hello. and I yes. here today with some fresh, brand new games, including Millie and Molly, which is an Atari 20, uh, 7800 game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were saying we were playing a 7800 yeah, game. Yeah, so mixing it up Exciting. a little bit here. Yeah. And Shades as well, um, which is not a new game, but it was just posted and never been posted before. So it is new to everyone else. And we're going to be playing Starfire again, trying nice. for the patch. Excellent. Uh, so attempt number two. Yes. And uh, Millie and Molly. Um, this is a world exclusive premiere. This nice. has not even been posted anywhere. Oh, really? It's not even been announced okay, anywhere. Yeah. It's, it's This is the first anyone's heard or seen of it. It's very, very exciting. It's by M.K. Smith, uh, A.K. Uh, Matt Smith, mm. and it is a port of a C64 game. Mm -hmm. And I think both of us will enjoy it, especially you. Um, <laughs> Twitch subscribers, I want to thank these people for supporting the show. Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Charles and Check, Charles Reese, Dianoid, Danny VC, Gredams, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23, Carl G, Croco 2600, Laud Mott, Metal Lunar 7, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Packrat VG, RC70, Repentless VG, Ret Retro Salary Mans, Socrates 0603, Spartan 581, Spicewar, S. Ramirez 2008, The D Train 37, The Welshman 89, Thunkus, Tiki Dan K, Trek MD, and you can support the show too for free if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click mm -hmm. subscribe. Exactly. Or you can just follow us on Twitch and make yeah. sure you can watch this live like everybody there is watching Woo. right now. Yep. And uh, make sure you follow us on uh, YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and Twitter because last uh, Wednesday, right after the show, I released the interview we did with Dianoid mm -hmm. at PRGE. It's been sitting on my hard drives for a long time, but I finally got needed. a little, little bit of editing. Time. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of editing, and yeah. I put it out last Wednesday, and everybody is liking it, mm -hmm. loving it. Um, John Champo said, excellent interview, James. I especially love the reaction at 9.30, and we we're playing Amoeba <laughs> Jump. Yes. And it was Erlen, yourself, and me. Yes. And Erlen missed um, a spring, and we all had a huge reaction. Erlen or you? Uh, no, Erlen was playing. Oh. Yeah. And it yeah. was just everybody did yeah. like various reactions. It yeah. was really, really yeah. funny. He was doing really well, I think. And well, yeah, I no. don't know. He was doing okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, Socrates 63 said, Deanoid, love the interview and, oppor and the opportunity to see and connect with the developer of Amoeba Jump, my mm -hmm. favorite 2600 homebrew. I look forward to playing Tower of Rebel, which mm -hmm. that is out, so you mm -hmm. can play it. Mm -hmm. um, Grey Defender, whose channel I do watch and I'm subscribed to yes. as well. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, he does uh, a lot of good reviews of yes. games. Yeah. Um, he says, really nice interview. I appreciate your work. Hopefully you'll have some more developer interviews coming that you're holding back on. I don't have any <laughs> right that I've recorded. <laughs> but um, like I've said before, I'm planning on doing developer spotlights yes. yeah. where we play their games mm. and have them on the stream and they can talk about their games and, and uh, as they uh, talk about how they developed each game as we play them. Mm. And I think that would be a really interesting and fun way to do it. Um, there was somebody who posted a uh, no land Norbert Landsteiner uh, posted on the Atari age forums um, actually, let's say hey to everyone. Um, <laughs> hello to everybody watching hello. in Twitch right now. Lots Dan ABC, uh, Ding Cuckoo. That's a new name. I mean, the jump is excellent, they yeah. say. Uh, Thomas, Thrust 26, Esther Mears 2008, Gredams, hello. hello. Uh, Captain Classic, hello. Uh, Phil, <laughs> uh, Splendidnut, Carl G., uh, and everybody else, and ABC, Spartan, Dan, Dan 581. ABC, Spartan 581, and everybody yes. else who is watching. Yes, out thank there. you for joining. Yes, thank you. And I'm chatting or not chatting. Yeah, we're, we're good either hanging way. Out. <laughs> Just come and hang out. Um, I wanted to actually show you what this person posted. He said, um, I've devised a tiny play field editor which su should support most needs. It supports symmetrical and asymmetrical play fields, repeated and mirrored for both types, and generates assembler code in real time. Correspondingly, the editor takes um, hmm? no, no, oh, just making noise. Uh, takes assembler code and simple lists of bytes 
uh, values as input. Moreover, you may adjust the total number of scan lines for the kernel and the vertical resolution. The interface is intentionally kept simple, uh, or at least meant to be uh, so. Mind that there's no support for color codes or repeat row repeat counts, confidently assuming that you may be able to add them on your own. Also, there isn't really a standard format for this. So we're going to take a look at what they've come up with. And this is, I thought this was a really, really nice presentation of how to draw backgrounds um, okay. for uh, 2600 games. And you'll see what I mean in a second. Um, I'm just going to put this on the screen so everybody can see it. Uh, screen capture. There we go. I might need to make this a little smaller so it gets the whole thing on this. Come on. Whole thing on the screen at once. I don't want to cut off the edges. Oh, it's being fiddly. Oh, it's too big. Uh, can I make it smaller? Oh, that'll make it. That'll make it easier for me. So. There. So, a lot of backgrounds in Atari 2600 games are made with something called the play field um, that mm. the 2600 has yes. built in to draw. Mm -hmm. And it is 40 uh, bits, bits wide yeah. that cover the whole width of the screen. Um, and as long as you want, you can go the whole width, um, mm -hmm. height of the screen. Okay. So what this person has done is made a playfield editor. So nice. you can kind of draw it out on your own. Um, oh, look at that. So you can, uh, draw your own playfield here. Draw a little heart. <laughs> and then at the bottom here, it spits out the code. So you can oh. just copy and paste this into your program. So it makes it a little bit easier to visualize yes. what you're trying to do. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's very neat. And you can see right now it is uh, repeated on the right hand side. Yes, you don't that, necessarily have to do that. No, and no. that's an option. And, and it saves saves room. Yeah. Um, you can also have it mirror. And that can make uh, very interesting designs. Yeah. Um, also, you can have it so it's symmetrical, so it's the same on the left and the right. Or asymmetrical. Or asymmetrical, and you can use the whole. Oh, I see. Mirror screen. it and then, then add more kind of thing. Yeah. Ah. So it depends what your needs are and how yeah. much room you have. Oh, you've, you've piqued Atari's curiosity. Yeah, he's, he's interested he's in this. He's really interested. Um, you can also set how high it is, because sometimes you don't need 192. You can have just shorter amount or bigger. Nice. And also, this takes up a lot of room uh, in memory, 192 lines. Yeah. So if you don't need it as detailed, you can set it to uh, double line height. Oh, I see. Which is still fine for most people. Mm. And you just got to clear. You can draw again. Interesting. You can do pretty, pretty that's nice really backgrounds. Cool. I mean, it seems something, something that's fairly simple, but, yeah. um, but and he very does, helpful. Yes. Yeah. And he doesn't have color built into it yet, but no. people are asking him yeah, in the forums color. for color because, yeah. because you can put down the color down the left-hand side Yeah. and you could have a little color picker somewhere mm. here and you go, okay, I want, now it's to be black and you go that line black, or you can hold and pull it down and all those have turned black mm -hmm. and they will be shown here in the color. Uh, on the screen. So I think that's really, really handy. And it also has uh, shifting. So you can shift down, ah. shift up, move it to the right, nice. to the left. That is very cool. And it also has uh, specific tools for dividing it up because each of those is divided up into hmm. bytes. There's a half half bite here and then there's a bite and a bite and then another bite bite and a half bite if i uh remember correctly and it can it can do that for you down below and it could be in hexadecimal or mm. binary uh those are not option you can do reverse order select your output and you can import code as well so you can take something you have oh and it'll it'll and put, put it, it on in. the screen <sighs> yeah and then That's you can so neat add to it so yeah. i thought that was really 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 good yeah um and he's got some other tools as well uh this is not really where i want to be let's go this is one okay and he's also got one for making ah. um sprites 
So if you wanted to just draw your little character right here, and you can, it doesn't have a mini version of it, like a tiny actual output, Yeah. but now you can have little eyes <laughs> and a little mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or you can have a straight mouth. How about that? Or smileys. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it has the same thing. You can output it. Um, pixel one by one. Oh, okay. For different. Um, so this is more like how you would see it on the VCS. Gotcha. This would be on a, a pixel perfect one by one. Mm. I don't know why you'd want that. Mm. Um, or he shows it in wide because that's an option on okay. the 2600 to double pixels. I see. In case they just translate nicely. And then you can kind of plan that out. Neat. It's like, oh, this is meant to be wide. So I'm going to draw it wide. Yeah. Um, whatever that is, a tree, let's say. Neat. It's little branches. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Um, so that's a really, really handy tool. And I thought that would be uh, really useful for some people out there. Um, I don't think, uh, am I out of sync? Just make sure I'm not out of sync. Um, okay, so I thought that would be nice to tell people about. That's very um, neat. And he also has Studio 2600 as well um, that you can make some sounds on. Um, let's take a look at that. really briefly there's his main page oh there we go the oh, tiny audio. sprite editor playfield editor Neat. and studio 2600 mm. so this just loads a vcs program that you can actually yeah and i and i think i might have shown this before but this is just the different sounds right different it's, sounds. it's all Um, I, yeah. Just a little test. And you can make sounds uh, that you'll be recognized in old Atari games. Mm. I think there's one here for engine noises. Nice. <laughs> just a little fun. Yeah. No, that's really cool. But this has been around for a while, Studio 2600. You just put it in a nice, easy format. Nice. And, and some information as well about the registers. But anyway, he's kind of collected them together as, as a group of uh, tools. So that's really, really nice. Um, so that's in the Atari Age forums. Um, you can take mm -hmm. a look at that. Cool tool. Yes, very, very cool. Um, so let's get to the unboxing. Ooh. What we have here. Presents. Presents. Let's see what okay, it is. Presents. <laughs> I know what it is. All the way from Germany. Nice. Hello, Prow7. Welcome. Oh, no. So I saw this person post about this in the Atari Age forums quite a while back. Um, but then um, ArenaFoot reminded me of it. I'm like, yeah, I really should message this person about um the thing that they posted that's it yep um mystery box do i have scissors in there scissors or a cutting tool how oh, about a screwdriver that'll work don't stab yourself oh it's flathead too perfect <laughs> don't stab the careful cat. don't stab the cat no we Be like very that nice. cat Be very nice to we Very like that cat. particular cat. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Not saying we don't like the other cat. Yeah, the other cat's been a little we vomity. We definitely do. Oh. Been a little vomity lately. <laughs> he has been. He has involved a lot of cleaning. Poor, poor dude. Yeah, this guy never vomits. He eats anything and everything. Yeah. And it stays down. <laughs> He's like, yeah, give He's me more food. He eats hot sauce iron. stuff. Yeah, I, I can't believe it. We'll put hot sauce and there'll be a little on the plate. And he'll like, just come click, over click, and eat click. it. We're like, you're not going to like that. He's just eating the hot sauce. It's like, I like it. You are the funniest kitty. Yes. Iron stomach. Iron. Oh, my goodness. I should really have scissors, but I put them away. Luckily, this is not a box I need it to keep. It is very well sealed, so yeah. that's good. Yeah, Should be able to sure run to the other room. Is in it box. in the box? Yeah. yeah. Well, I struggle with this. Oh my goodness! 
Now, you got it? nope. Thank you. Oh my goodness. It's terrible. Don't stab the cat. Nope. Keep it well away from my leg and the cat. Yeah. That's much better. So I got that. I've got that side open. Struggle. Oh my goodness. Well, it's got a tab and then it's got tape over the tab. Yeah. But, but, but okay. it is good. Huh. Things should be well packaged. They should. There <laughs> There's we nothing go. worse than something breaking through its packaging. Now, let's see how this is. Okay. So, what this is <gasps> is a plus cart with a plus. Okay. So, it's a plus cart plus. <gasps> <laughs> so, there we go. It says game program plus cart plus use with joystick controllers 2000 copyright 2019 firma plus limited so mm. if you can hold that mm -hmm. and he said he sent me two of them actually oh um for testing so he's got another label in here which i'm not sure hopefully he gave me two two of them put together but i don't know if he did it's a cart without what the stickers the hell? <laughs> How do you get to the bottom of this? It's got a false bottom. It does, apparently. For hiding more plus carts. Here. Oh my give goodness. Me, give me the stickers. You're going to lose the stickers there. They're falling off. There's another one. Yeah. There. Yeah. There you go. Okay. I don't want to lose those. Hi, Metal Lunar. I hope your day is going well. What in the hell? <laughs> How do you get to the bottom of this? There's a whole section here. Yeah. And false bottom. It's got a false bottom. I can't get to the bottom. Can it. you imagine if you didn't realize that was there and threw it out? That'd be. Well, he, yeah. German yeah. engineering, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> oh my goodness. Apparently, they know how to package their products. <laughs> like. 20, oh, it's two 20, separate things. Oh, it's two boxes stuck together. Oh. So you've got, he's got another box to open. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it is two boxes taped together. Uh, <laughs> I'm get, oh, Al Nefer's here. That's who sent it to me. Thank you so much, Al. That's great that you're here. Um, you can answer. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> intense unboxing. Yeah, exactly. It's very intense. <laughs> I suppose you could have tried to cut it without opening it earlier but uh no that's not as much fun no it's it's, it's not as much fun oh, as, as stabbing goodness. yourself in the thigh <laughs> yeah oh my goodness uh, do i have it open now i'm just gonna rip it oh my goodness <laughs> I know it's just going to be the exact same thing. Yeah, a because... knife would be the right tool. Well, we do have a pair of scissors, but that's not where we started. So. <laughs> oh, okay, I've got the side of it open. <laughs> just don't destroy what's on the inside. I know. Try not to. Nice, nice. Okay, so there we, we go. Two. Got one for each hand now. There we go. Yeah, thank you. Oh, oh, oh. what a struggle. Oh, oh, that woke oh, me up. Look at that. So we've got two plus cards here. A knife would be the right tool. That's yes, hello, Wolfgang. Um... So, plus cart. An inexpensive DIY Wi Fi multi cart. Yeah. Um, the Atari 2600 plus cart is based on Robin Edwards Uno cart 2600, which I have there as well, and the extensions of Dirty Harry's fork. The plus card has no SD card, but an ESP8266 to connect to a local Wi Fi network and the internet. Ooh! So, this has a Wi-Fi card built into it. Wow. So you can connect to the internet with it. The plus card downloads the ROM files from a server in the internet uh, on the internet called the Plus Internets. Store. Nice. This way is done similar to the Uno card load that loads ROMs from the fat uh, file system on the SD card while the VCS is performing a wait room routine in its RAM. Mm. Additionally the plus card has one more interesting feature. It offers internet access to the ROM developers. These functions are called plus ROM. In the first bytes of a plus ROM, the path and the back end host name or IP address has to be encoded. Um, there's a bunch of information here. For most people, that would not be interest. You can find out more on the website. So now all kinds of ROMs, games, chat clients, mail clients, web browsers, MMOGs, um, should be possible on the Atari 2600 VCS. That, and he sent that to me, two of them, specifically 
so we could play any future multiplayer online games that are being developed for the 2600. Like, like if um, Andrew Davey built in a two-player online version of chess into his chess, one person can have one cart, I could give one to Darcy, mm. and he'd be able to play it from home, and we can play it here, both on 2600s, over the internet. Wow. Yes. Um, or a multiplayer wow. on, like, if Penult builds built in um, multiplayer, which it's not, no. it's not meant for no, that. But, but yeah. if somebody uh, makes uh, an RPG with multiple players on it, wow, um, you could chat to each other. Wow. That would be very slow. Chat. Um, in, our, in Atari? Yes, in Atari. It has little chat lines on the bottom. Yep. And he says, wow. uh, sort of the stereo, sort of the modern version of the game line, which I actually have right here. Oh, wow. Um, so let's take a look at what the game line was, which mm. was one of the first, if not the first, um, internet kind of based gaming. Uh, it did not, you couldn't play um, Atari games over the internet, uh, over any kind of uh, connection, but the game line you could download uh, games. Let's get that up on the screen. Here's the game line. Uh, was a dial-up uh, game distribution service for the Atari 2600. So you connected up to your phone line. It would dial into um, a service, and okay. you could pick from various games to download. So this is the exact same thing. Wow. Um, so right now he does have a Plus Store enabled. Um, so that is right now um, you're able to use it. And you're able to upload your own games into your own storage area and kind of have them ready to download and play at any time. Okay, okay. So that's kind of the substitute for the, the SD card. Um, so I didn't plan today to be using those on okay. the show. Okay. That's for a show later. And You'll I will figure be doing it out. That. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. I have to reconfigure yeah. my router and get them hooked up, and I can't unbox it and do that no, live. No. That yeah, be, that's that's fair. <laughs> uh, a nightmare. Yeah, yeah. You um, need to work a few logistics out first, I think. Yeah. I actually yeah. have some photos of the game line uh, here that we can take a look at. So here is what the cartridge looked like. Is this going to scroll? No. Or is that the whole picture? No, that's the whole picture. There we go. Or is it? Something is. There we go. Oh, yeah, there you go. So that plug, that part at the top plugged into the VCS. And I don't know if it shows the little um, plug that you put your... Um, phone line into oh my goodness is there a let's see if there's a better photo so that's a box of it and there's a box of boxes <laughs> <laughs> and a box <sighs> and the instruction manual yeah back no to okay so it doesn't show where you plug the f the phone line it goes into it the actually side, goes into the side side wow. on the left or the right I love, it looks like I the love, font Masters of the Universe I know, font. I was just thinking that. I was just thinking that. I'm like, it's very He-Man. Very He-Man. <laughs> they yes. obviously took the, uh, the, the the font characters from, yeah. from He-Man. That's and hilarious. In very 80s style. I like it. The silver. Shiny chrome. The silver uh, chrome. Silver, yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. wonder if you could do cluster computing on a bunch of Ataris with that. Uh, why not? It's sending data. Yeah. Um, so you could pretty much do anything with it that it, that you can do on an Atari except with more yeah. uh, more Ataris. Uh, online Indy 500. Ooh, yes. <laughs> that would be really good. A racing game yeah. would be really good. Yeah. Um, I think people would have to experiment with um, lag time and how tolerant well, it would be. Well, yeah, that would be, a, that would be an issue, I think. Yeah, yeah. and how The how sharing, fast. how quickly data gets shared, how quickly... Like an RPG? Totally fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. An action game? <gasps> yeah. I don't know. You could have a Civ game and, and just take turns, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know? for sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look, cool. the, the musician on Millie and Molly is here. Ah. That is very, very awesome. We Welcome haven't gotten to Millie and Molly yet, but very, we're, we're, very, getting, very we're getting there yet. Um, also, another um, wow. thing you can do with the Plus Cart is have high score tables. 
So you play yes. the game yeah. uh, using the cart. So you download and it's the up, game. And it's uploading it to a Automatically. website. Yeah. And your cart or your login is assigned to you and you can set up a profile. Yeah. And it would have high scores. Mm. And Andrew Davey mm. is already planning on that functionality in Sokobu. Oh, cool. Okay. For the bet, the fastest times uh, for each of the levels. Okay. Um, so somebody is already programming Very for cool. that cart. And I think that's the first person I've heard of. Mm. I don't know if anybody else out there is doing that. Anybody uh, can let me know. Um, yeah. So that is very, very cool. Uh, but a few games have been hacked to store their high scores online. Oh, yes. Actually, there are specific versions. They've So more have changed over. Yeah. Um, none have been made from the beginning to do mm. that. Like Sokobu is kind of still in progress. But they've retrofitted some games so that it will send your high scores online and have you'll have a high score table mm -hmm. with your name against it. So that's very, very cool. Um, let's see. Might we see a 2600 MIDI maze? What's a MIDI maze? <laughs> those, I know those words individually. Yeah. <laughs> I know MIDI and I know maze. Yeah. Oh, Thrust. Here we go. Here's a, a good list. Oh, original games. Asteroids, River Raid, Pac-Man 8K. So that's a homebrew. Amoeba Jump homebrew. Yeah. Cosmic Arc. Very, very fun game. And Hero. Yeah, so that's very cool. So people can use this right now. Wow. And if you want to be a beta tester, definitely check out the Atari Age forum and search for Plus Cart. And you'll be able to find um, Al Nefer's, um contact information nice. and the thread. Okay. And uh, you'll be able to uh, help him out and do some testing for him as well. It was a multiplayer first person game on Atari ST that networked through MIDI. Wow. Uh, because MIDI is just information. Yeah. And also MIDI's in and out. It's a two way process. Yeah. So mm -hmm. instead of storing notes, it would use that for the data. Yeah, Atari ST. Oh, oh. that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, so we're going to now get to Millie and Molly, and we will be playing with it around with the plus cart. Um, on a later, later show yeah. as soon as I've got it all hooked up and yeah. I've got my profile working and yeah. we can play games and we'll try and put some high scores cool. on the internet and then show those high scores on the website. Mm. Yeah, So that will be lots of fun. Um, so let's get to the first game. Million Molly. It is an Atari 7800 game. Okay. And the Atari 7800 does not have a multi-cart at the moment oh okay there was one that was made okay a long time ago well sold out it is really expensive hundreds of dollars if you can find one yeah I think it was a cuddle cart two um it didn't have an sd card okay don't think you have to load it through usb i can't remember i don't have one um and somebody was starting to work on an atari 7800 multi-cart mm. But the work stalled. Um, I don't know if it's ever going to come back okay. or not. So for the time being, we're, we're for the time being, we have to play, either have it put on a cartridge okay. specifically, or play it in an emulator. Okay. So a lot of games for the seven eight hundred are played through an emulator. Emulators. Okay. Or they get put on cart when they're completely done. Um, so we have got this one in uh, an emulator, an Atari seventy eight hundred emulator. And it makes a terrible screeching noise when you uh, when you get it all going and ready okay. because it turns on before you put a cartridge in. Or maybe I'm doing it wrong. So I've got it already loaded so we don't hear that, that terrible screeching, screeching noise. noise. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this is in a world exclusive. Um, this game is made by Matt Smith, a.k.a. M.K. Smith. He's ported it from okay. a six, Commodore 64 game, okay. which was made just months ago. <laughs> this game, yes. This game. Wow. On the C64. Okay. So he's like gone crazy and ported it really quickly. Wow. Um, so this Did built... he create it on the C64? Uh, or he, he ported it from someone else's creation? He, no, he ported it for somebody else. Okay. Actually, this is not the right version. Oh, he no. He sent me a new one. Oh, no. Just this morning. You knew, you, you can tell just by the... Uh... No, I couldn't, but oh. I just remembered. You just realized. Okay. So, um, screechy noise is coming. Is that what you're saying? No, I can mute it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I want you to read about okay. the C64 version information, and then we're going to take a look at the C64 right. while I load All right. the proper one. Fair up. enough. Um, 
just from Millie and Molly here? Yeah. Actually, this got some scores. You can read out the scores it got there. So Millie and Molly, 93% Retro Gamer Magazine, 92% Free 64, 9.2 out of 10 The Games Machine. So this sounds like a very high score, a high, um, highly re well-reviewed game. Yeah. Uh, Millie and Molly is a retro-inspired puzzle game coded and designed by industry vet veterans for the original Commodore 64 hardware and emulators. We teamed up with the most talented people in the C64 scene, including Saul Cross for the graphics and Hass Axelsen Svala for the music. The game features 100 original levels spread over five themed worlds, eight pieces of music, and even a level editor. Should, should you wish to get your creative juices flowing, the game works on both PAL and NTSC formats. Uh, messed up a level in possibly a first for a C64 game. You can rewind time so you can fix your mistakes. They're not hearing that. <laughs> well, well, then they might be through to this. the microphone. Yeah. yeah, that's the screeching noise <laughs> that you. That it Craft seven. Why can't we hear the screeching noise? Do you really want to hear? Really want to hear the screeching noise? You yeah. don't. You don't want to hear the uh, screeching. Funny. <laughs> Actually, the color is different. Oh. It was uh, white, I think. White no, yellow. it it cycles. Oh, does it? Yeah. Uh, there you go. Um, Millie and Molly. Help Millie and Molly clear the world of the malicious monsters. Monsters are killed by walking into them from the side. Okay, Don't. that's the actual instructions okay. for the game, for this game. Um, so this is a work in progress. It doesn't have uh, all the things just yet okay. that the C64 has. He's, he's um, it doesn't have, the re doesn't have the rewind uh, feature. It okay. doesn't have the level editor okay. as well. I don't know if he's going to be doing the level editor. Um so, oh no, do That's I have to remap buttons? That won't take very long, but I want to make sure because I remember. Oh no, it remembered. Excellent. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at Millie and, and Molly gone. now. And the cat's gone. Yeah. So there we go. I think I want to get rid of that top line. It's really, really annoying just for now. Mm -hmm. uh, screen capture. Let's go back to go back to us in the meantime. For the short term. Um, you can read out the instructions now. <laughs> <laughs> we have that. Uh, Millie and Molly help Millie and Molly clear their uh, their world of malicious monsters. Monsters are killed by walking into them from the side. Don't fret, Millie and Molly can't die. Well, thank goodness. Uh. They can fall from any height and even have items dropped onto their heads. To help you get at those hard to reach monster items can be pushed, ladders can be climbed, and dirt can be dug through. So obviously, it's more of a puzzle. You're not uh, fighting to the death or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, Millie and Molly can even use each other as platforms when they are in a level together. Okay. You play as either Millie or Molly, <laughs> get, or get both, away. depending on the level. There you go. Yeah. Let me finish. Oh, this is a 7800 game. That explains the graphics. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So we are ready. I've chopped off the top bit, so you don't have to see that annoying thing. Nice. going very nice sounds there very nice graphics um oh actually i wanted to show the c64 version first yeah yeah well anyway there's a the title screen <laughs> <laughs> um so we know where it's coming from um so this is the c64 version of it boom centered but it's yeah chopped off yeah it's off. Chopped oh it's still fine don't need to hear it uh let's go to the intro screen so you can see that there you go so That's very very cool. similar looks nice. almost exactly the same yeah, yeah, he's yeah. done an incredible conversion of it like it looks dead on nice. except you get 7800 colors instead of the kind of pastel-y soft c64 colors okay yeah um so it is a puzzle game. So mm. I knew that uh, I think you'd you like it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're going to see all these things on, on the uh, 7800 version. 
but I wanted to show you the C64 to s show you how good of a conversion it is. So there you go. Snap that. Interesting. Yeah. So it's, it's you're just capturing. They look like monsters. They look like bears to me. <laughs> oh, more this more so than monsters. Cute but little teddy they're bears. They're pretty cute. There we go. Okay. Oh, you have to watch in the reflection. What? No lies. Oh. Did I? Did you show that? Did I do it the opposite no way that I was supposed video. to? Yeah. Oh, I did do it the opposite way I was supposed to. Yeah. I know. Try it again. Okay. Try number two. Yeah. So there's the intro screen. It's Is it showing though? Yeah, it's showing now. Is it? Yeah, that's what they're seeing. Okay. I had it backwards. Yeah. I think they look like teddy bears to me. Oh, yeah. They are <laughs> far from monsters. Super cute. Yeah. Um, so we'll just skip around. I don't think the guy talks. Yeah. He does a little. Talking. So you can see the colors on the C64 yep. version. Lots of puzzles. Very, very cool. And there's the two different characters. Mm. Oh, you switch between them. Yeah. Uh, neat. Because in this level, they're on opposite, like they're disconnected. They can't even get to each other. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, there you go. That is the C64 version. Oh, there's some rewinding. There's some rewinding. Oh, I see. Which is so not you can... implemented yet. Oh, if you make a mistake. If you make a mistake, you, you're going to have to start over. Yeah, that which, right now. which a bunch well, of uh, games have implemented um, in the past 10 years. Rewind function. Oh, what was that? Braid was the first really big one. Yeah, but uh, one. Uh, there are a lot of puzzle games like this that implement that. Yeah. So, um, so you can basically restart the puzzle, right? You're not yeah. you're not dying. You're just restarting the puzzle from the beginning. Yeah. So but, yeah. But restarting is different than rewinding. No, but rewinding means you can go back a few steps instead of oh, going yes. right back to the yeah. beginning, which is is much less frustrating when you're doing these kinds of games. Oh yeah. Yeah. Especially if it's a long, long game. Yeah. Long screen. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, I made one mistake. I don't want to start. Yeah. This you don't want to start right back again. at the beginning again. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a good. It's a really good function to put in games. I need like that this. for Boulder Dash. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, Boulder Dash. You have to start right back from the beginning. It's so true. Okay. So here is the 7800 version of Millie and Molly. Um, so we've got uh, two button controls. The passcodes are implemented, mm. so the further we get, we can continue mm. um, from the highest level we get to. Okay, so um, starting. Uh, let's go down to instructions. Instructions: Help Million Molly clear their world of malicious monsters, <laughs> teddy bears. Monsters are killed by walking into them from the side. Don't fret. Millie and Molly can't die. I think we've read this already, uh, actually. <laughs> there they are on the yep. screen. Okay, yep. press button. And let's... Um, uh, controllers... We can restart the level. So that does it, that is implemented. But we can restart. But, but just from isn't. the beginning. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. So, button one to switch between sisters. Hold button one to rewind your mistakes, not implemented. Button two or pause toggles the menu access. So that's okay. button one, that's button two, so. Okay. Yeah. Okay, next. And play level one. And instructions, and does that. Destroy, destroy yeah. the teddy now, bears. Now, just comparing to what you just saw, it's it looks identical. <laughs> congratulations. Level yeah. one complete. Level uh, two passcode three three six four four two. So all the people uh, out there trying to get to level so two. So you can there you, you can go. you can write down the passcodes. And start from wherever yeah. you want. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's very tutorial y in the first few levels, which is not surprising. So as the as you play these easy levels, yeah. I'll I'll um uh, give everybody some background. Yep. Um, I first saw this game on the Commodore 64 not long after its release, earlier this year. I thought it looked great, was really fun to play, and, and this is, sorry, um, this is uh, Matt Smith, M aka MK Smith, mm. who's also uh, made Arkanoid, Million Molly, um, uh, Tower of Rubble, Work in Progress, which is now abandoned, 
for the 2600 and he's also made Atari Dev Studio for the 2600 and 7800 and if you have not checked out Atari Dev Studio and you're a developer for the 2600 or 7800 you definitely should check it out. I have loaded it on my machine and it just it's beautiful. It, it has color coding and a lot of tools for programming the 2600. Um, I think both in basic and in uh, assembly. Um, I thought it looked great, was really fun to play and had some unique features all adding up to a very enjoyable experience. The game is a platform puzzle game where you play grannies. So those are grannies. Oh, yeah, well they have gray hair. Yeah, that's true. Oh, very cute. Big eyed grannies. Yeah. Uh, Millie and Molly, either separately or together, which starts off easy enough showing you how to dig through dirt, move blocks into position and collect monsters. But don't let that fool you as the puzzles are very well constructed, leaving you mm -hmm. scratching your head soon enough. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. all basic tutorial stuff. Yeah. Right? You can push rocks. Uh, Muddy Funster says Atari Dev Studio is brilliant. It's, it is really, really nice. Um, Dan ABC says I should check out Atari Dev one of these days. I've switched over to despite being slow to change my ways, Carl G says. Um, Rewind is for Molly Coddles, like me, Thrust says. <laughs> Molly Coddles. <laughs> That's an old word. Uh -huh. I haven't heard that word in a while. Uh, after thinking about how this might work on the 7800, I played around with the graphics and found that for the most part they translated directly, as they were double width matching the mes resolution perfectly. So it was very easy to um, push them over, uh, convert them over to the 7800 from the C64. So it's like a one-to-one -one pixel perfect mm. screen, which is really, really great. Um, I played around for a few days building some levels and trying various methods to determine how best to display the levels. The key issue is the number of objects that might be required to at be animated. So the granny is animated. I'm guessing that's Millie, because we haven't encountered Molly yet. Mm. And the teddy bears are animated. Two frames, which is enough. Um, Whilst only two frames, some serious thought was required as some levels have up to 50 to animate. Oh my god. 50 creatures on the screen to animate at the same time. After getting stuck, I tried the tile code Mike Sarna Revenge uh, had given me to update the tiles in Arkanoid. Still a work in progress. This provided the way forward and the rest of the game was able to progress. It has taken about three months, a good length for a project. That's pretty quick, actually. To get to this point with just a few things left to finish off, but essentially the core game and functionality is complete. The only key missing feature is the rewind, which allows you to undo moves you have made. Very useful when you reach a tricky level. The game is 128k RAM cart, which provides additional RAM, half of which I'm currently utilizing for rendering and music playback. The eight banks are all very close to full, but I'm still hoping to start on the rewind feature shortly, which will use the other half of the available RAM for storage, because you'd have to know all the moves and possibly all positions for things that have moved. Depends how you store it. Um, we also might look to add save key support, but you can currently track your progress with passcodes at the end of a level, so you don't really need save key support, mm. since the original game had those codes anyway. You could, but it's not too bad to just type in a code. So that looks like dirt you have to dig through. Mm, yeah, but... Um, and he says, thank you. I need to thank the following Atari Age superstars, our little team, uh, who without their unbelievable and very generous help, the game wouldn't be where it is today. Mike Revenge, champion of the 7800, and often my guide on coding, thoughts, and mm. suggestions. That was fun. So you press the second button. And then you go down to that one. Yeah. Uh, Mike is always willing to help and often provides his exceptional coding talents where mine cannot go, such as with the tile and screen wipe code. 7800 Basic is such a wonderful tool he has created for the community. Get on board, people. Uh, Bobby Synthapalooza, who is in the chat today with us, mm -hmm. welcome. The Pokey and Music Guru has created eight different tunes for the game. Sounds like you're still in the first one. So it has to probably is distributed uh, evenly amongst the 100 levels. Um, so that would be 12 and a half 
levels each, <laughs> each tune. Oh, you're on level 13, so it hasn't changed yet. Maybe it accelerates. Um, I provided Bobby with a wave sound file of each tune and he manually created each tune, adding his unique twist to the music. Anyways, pushing the limits uh, to make the pokey sound great. So there, on the 7800, it included, because it's backwards compatible to the 2600, hmm. it has the original sound chip from the 2600, which is in the TIA. And it also, some games had a pokey chip as well, okay. which provided advanced sound capabilities. And this one uses the pokey the pokey chip. It's the TIA um, in its basic modes is very limited. <laughs> just took the scale and just divided it right up into 128 or I can't remember how many different divisions. We can't hear the music very well. Oh, I don't want to overwhelm you. It's a little quiet, you. yeah. So it looks loud enough to me, but I'll turn it up just a little bit. Let me know how that is. Oh, yeah. go. I'm like, why am I not? Slightly louder would be nice, yes. Uh, Grand Trip, sorry, I'm late popping in. This is looking great. Is there a bin available? No, there's not. This is not available yet, and I will get to that in a short little bit. Um, uh, Robert Trebor, along with his most valuable support, testing and providing feedback, he is the palette god and provided the really vibrant colors that finish off the game. Yeah, they're really, really nice colors. Green's crazy, but. <laughs> they wanted to emulate the original game. Mm. Um, Steve S. Ramirez, 2008, the king of testing here at Atari Age, has a front row seat to all upcoming games with good reason due to his amazing play skills and excellent feedback and suggestions. Yes, if uh, S. Ramirez is taking part in a high score competition, uh, you're in trouble because <laughs> he's going to be first. <laughs> and uh, he's always, uh... oh, it's good now, excellent. Also, testing my tool, tunes on real hardware. Well, this isn't real hardware, so. Yeah. But um, this is the emulator, the A7800. Uh, um, so, yeah, there's no real way that I can do it on real hardware right now. Not yet, until there's until a cart where you have, yeah. A multi-cart, which doesn't exist. Yeah, uh, someone was mentioning there is a second multi-cart. They mentioned a second multi-cart that's out there, but it, oh. it hasn't been around for a while. Like, um, well, it's in the chat if you want to, yeah. Oh, what I is have that? To take is that a bat? Cool. It's like a bat. One second. Interesting. Oh, uh, wait, it's way back. Uh, somebody will have to uh, save it. The Mateos? Oh. Is that the creature or is that the multi card name? Uh, potential release. I've made my uh, some initial contact. Sneeze. <laughs> Sorry. With Carlton Handy, Handley, Carlton, Carlton Handley, the original developer back in early March in relation to releasing this conversion, but that was early stages and we had yet to come to any arrangements yet. Uh, Carlton is a C64 coding veteran from back in the 80s and early 90s and recently returned himself to coding games for fun on the C64. Hopefully we can come together for a release at some stage. This has been a most enjoyable pro a project as our team is such a great group of people who work really well together with everyone helping where they can. I've said a few times now that we have such a great community here at Atari Age. I must thank Al for his hard work and generosity with the community. We, can, uh, we also cannot go past James, Tanya, and the ZPH team for the tremendous and ongoing support to our endeavors allowing us to showcase our hard work. Well, you're very welcome. And that's what we are definitely here for. Yes. To um, show show off all this amazing work that people do. Some of the dirt you don't have to dig through. It's just there for decoration. This one was yeah, one. it's getting to levels now where not everything on the screen needs to be used. Oh, so it gets tricky. Yeah, you have to start thinking about. Oh, meaningfully, I'm totally lost. I have no meaningfully idea what's going on. what. Yeah. If I'm quiet, it's because I'm I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, what am I doing? <laughs> the Mateos. The Mateos is what I, I use to test with. Oh. There seems to be some curse surrounding multi-carts with the 7800. So was the Mateos... I'd have to like, look that up. Um, Mateos, was it put out for a very brief period of time and then it's just gone and now it's impossible to get now? That sucks. Here's a pic of my Mateos. 
Mateo's 16 and 1 with label. Oh, is it a. Um, it's not an SD card version then? At level 20, Molly will enter the game, so you're pretty close. Uh, enjoy the game and don't forget to log your passcodes. What? It's automatically logged. Because <laughs> we record the show. Yay. So, now that I can look at the game, what do the bats do? You Nothing. just can't touch they're them? Just, they're just monsters. But they're not on the ground, right? They're monsters you ha up in the air. So you, you have, have to kill to, them? You have to stack things to get to them. So you have to kind of figure oh, out. Oh, they're just different They're monsters. just They're just different oh, okay. monsters. So Can you... Go off a ladder to the right, or you have to yeah. go only at the yeah. top. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can, you can do a whole. So bunch you can of get things. that guy by going to the right off the ladder. In the bottom right. Uh, or can you I not exit? No, I haven't tried that. Yeah, okay. I haven't tried that. I don't see any other That's... way to get him. Oh no! Oh no! There's there are ways. I can, I can see. I can see where this goes. Carl G says, "I thought the creator of the Mateos cart was M I A." Yeah, Juan seemed to have dropped off the forums. It was an S SD cart with up to 16 slots for 128 ROM, uh, 128 ROMs. Oh, 128 no. K ROMs? I blocked myself. Yes, you did. You're done. Uh, Lack of an SD cart makes shit. development harder to do. Yes. I mean, it just makes it more annoying if you have to hook it up to like a USB or however you want to do it. Oh, not that. <gasps> Oh, I can start at this. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, That's I went one a little bit too far. Yeah. Well, then I will not look up the Mateos cart because I'd just be disappointed. Interesting. Or eight slots for 144k ROMs. Oh, okay, cool. Let's see. Because I, I. Oh, you can. Yeah, okay. Okay. So yeah, obviously I would love an SD card for the 7800. Um, and I also bought. Um, a composite mod for the 7800, but I think there might be. What happens if you go to that dirt, fall down in the rock? Does it rock? I don't know if, kill if you? I can. Can I kill it without falling? I just have to go. Because then. I have to go to oh, yeah, this fine. way. That's what I. Yes. That's that's. I went oh, to the left. To that. Why? Uh. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Do that first. Step. I'm being a backseat. Uh, I'm just thinking. Yeah, over. And over push the other one down, because you need it down. Oh, yeah. do you? Yeah, you do. So oh, if I go like do this. Do that first. That and first, and then do that. Yeah. Yeah, it's just the, things have to be done in, in kind of a specific order. And then, then I need to go up. Oh, and do that bat yeah. first. Yeah, and do and the bat first, so we put this the on the bear. teddy bear. I guess the monsters are now coming into play. Because teddy bears are not too many. Well, they're not menacing. None of them are menacing. But Very nice screen wipe. And yeah. if you've seen the screen wipe as it goes across, uh, Millie goes yeah. into a star. Yeah. It's very quick. Yeah. It's very uh, bubble bobble uh, esque. Yes. The, there's woo, disappearing and moving to the next level. I like that. Bubble bobble esque uh, type movements here. <laughs> we just um, bought, got bought um, bubble yes. bobble for the Switch. For the Switch, yeah. 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 With, has both the retro game on it and then also a whole new set of yes. levels, which is really cool. Uh, what do you think here? Yes. Yep, we need to get Saint to get to work on his planned S7800 SD cart soon, or if Batari restarts the concerto from scratch like he has hinted at. Yes, I know about the concerto. Didn't know about uh, Saint, but I don't frequent the 7800 board as much as the 2600. I look at every single post on the 2600 boards. Does the extreme uh, screen extend to the top? Uh, what you are seeing on the screen is exactly what we are seeing. Oh, like up off the top? To I doubt it. I think it's just a single screen, right? If you go up those ladders, it's not going to go to a second screen. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay, picking up his Lynx cart. No, it can't climb up to the top. Okay. Still have a way out. No, I'm okay. Um, um, so now that we have some 7800 developers in the room, something I've always wanted to know is why there's not a lot more development for the 7800. Um, is it because it's harder to develop for? 
Is it because of the lack of a multi-cart for people to play games on real hardware? Or is it because there's not as big of a user base or, you know, retro enthusiasts base? I think you're screwed. No. Oh. No, I'm not. Ah. But can you get out? No, I don't think I can. Unless I do the bottom one. Yeah, single screen. Yeah. Right. Um, Carl G says, lack of a multi-cart. That is a big thing. And the graphics can be a bit of a learning curve. Oh, are they? I think I'm doing this the long way, but that's okay. Do you need two? No, you just need one for that bat. Yeah. And then you can end on that bat. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, uh, I can do it last. It may, this may not be the most efficient route, but... I bet there's some levels where you have to go, that guy is last. Well, because of how I set it up, yeah. this guy does have to be last, but... Um, oh, yeah, little, little stars. Yeah. Is there points or oh, no? Oh, she does come in. Oh, that's awesome. Uh -huh. That's very much like oh, what's Solomon's Key. Does he come in like that in Solomon's Key as well? It's a lot of stuff. Whoa. But you have to get the top guys first. Uh, nope, nope. You have to destroy some of the dirt first. I'm, I'm just thinking here. Hmm. Um, Don't you have a good emulator for the 7800? This this is a pretty good one, as far as I can tell. Looks like it's built on MAME though. The, the interface looks really MAME-y. Like, like that's very MAME-y. Um, I think you want to do the bottom guys. Where All of the above. Go up? I missed, I missed some of this. Ah! Chat. I did not mean to fall down. That's okay. A7800 is a MAME branch fork. Oh, okay. Yes, if my Mateo ever dies, I'm done. <laughs> I'm just trying to purchase a backup cart when he stopped responding. Uh, Mateo says a slot for a pokey, too. Oh, wow. That's really cool. For the 2600, you can do 99% development with an emulator. Is that different for the 7800? So is, is it... A, yeah, that's a good question, Thrust. Is it a problem with the difference between the emulator and actual hardware? Because... That would be a definite holdback if you could only make games f to run on an emulator and you wouldn't be 100% certain that if you put the game on a real hardware it would work or not. And especially if you as a developer don't have uh, a multi-card to put it on or a flash card to put it on. You'd be like sending it to somebody, they'd have to give you feedback, you'd have to guess at what to fix. Yeah, that would be very difficult. Uh, not really, but I had to cross-develop uh, the sound in an Altera XL emulator. Isn't the 7800 almost the same as an 800? I think that's the, the um, 5200 that's, that's almost the same as an 800. The sounds are great. There's yeah. a really high-pitched whine, though, that comes in <laughs> once in a, a while. Bit. I yeah. don't know if that's because of the emulator. Everything but the whine is really, really good. There. It's really high-pitched. It's not really even a note. But I know they're still working on the sound. So, 7800 is more advanced, better graphics, and sprites. Debugging is more of a challenge, especially if you're spoiled by the Stella debugger. Oh, I bet. Yeah, because the Stella has, like, just... Ooh. Oh, no. You can't get that guy in the right now. No, you can't. Which one? The bat in the top left, sir. Oh. Because you've dropped, you've killed the bat. You have to oh, walk over the bat. Okay, let's try that. Yeah, you don't want to kill the bat in that round. And the left is the same as the right. So as soon so as you get the left, you, you can get the right. Down here, and then you do this first. Right. And then you kill. But then how do you, oh. Yeah, see, so you can't. That's what I did last time. Oh. Yeah, that's, I'm like, something about what you're saying doesn't sound right, because I. that's what I well, did last time. it's bad both ways. Uh, there's an order, for sure. That you have to do things in. Uh, I'm trying to push. I can't destroy that dirt though. Because the rock drops. Well, I can't destroy the dirt there to drop the rock, so I'm trying to think. Can you not get that? Yeah. I feel like the bottom no, no, you no, do no, last. No, 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 no. What? You do drop the rock. But then you drop the rock again. Oh, but how do you get. How do you get to that side oh, without no. the teddy bear? That's what you want. That's what I want you to drop the rock on. Anyway, you can try it and see what it no, happens. No, you can. You can. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, you do this. 
Oh, there, that's what I was trying to think. I didn't see that bottom. Yeah, so you drop the rock, and you kill the first the top bat. Then you drop the rock again. And you're just going around and around in circles. Trevor's palette is great. Yeah, this is a really, really nice. Um, and the green bricks are weird, but the colors are very, very vibrant. Um, like the C64 colors, I'm just, I like them. I'm really used to them because I grew up with the C64. Um, there you go, that's easy. Um, but they are very. So what did I do very again? We did this. The dirt. And then we came back. And up to the top. And you get the top bat. And then you get the bottom the middle bat. The middle bat. And then you get that top bat, and then you're pretty much done. Then you... There you go. There we go. for a second there. Yeah. 20! This one gave me problems. Yeah, this, that level is... Uh, it's a little good level. challenging, but it's, good level. it's a good level. You just have to reason it through, like in order. I like games. 20 down, 80 to go. Oh, look at these, 80 to go. Oh, That's now you've bad. got two. Now there's. So are these the same things? Like, what are. Oh, I've got two people. So what's blocked here? I can go back and forth. Oh, those move. I'm just going to play with this right now because yeah. I'm not sure. Um, and this, this is dirt. Oh, and then you drop. And it drops the barrels, which allows the top access. Yeah. Eventually. You still have to drop one more. No. So I screwed that I think up. you should have pushed that one first before going I should have gotten... Like, dropped, and then pushed. Oh, well, I can still... No, because it'll be two, and you can't oh, push Oh, I two. see. Gotcha. Okay. I know video game rules. You can't push, <laughs> you can't push, push two. two things you at can once. push one. Yeah. No matter what it is, a heavy barrel full of oil. There's always oil in them because you shoot them and they explode. Yeah. So at so some reason oil explodes. I want to move this and, and move that down. And then push. Just push. once. Then. There you go. Now you're clear. And then I can get this dude. Yeah. And then switch. And then... Oh! Oh no! What oh happened? no! No! I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Oh, you have to push that. You have one to go first. back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. This is where the level restarts comes in handy. Yeah. Yes, that's for sure. So that's one down, and then switch. I mean, you could have pushed that. First. I just need to get past. Yes. I there. need to get past. There you go. Wait. I guess you could push it there. Push one more. There you go. Well, it doesn't matter at this point, I guess. Hooray! Yeah, it's just it's just a it's not, it's not hard. Level. It's well tutorial level for two player. It's yeah. a very very good one, very straightforward. What what are some other games that have this type? Sorry. Other games I can think of that are kind of like this. There's one where you move both characters at the same time. Is that Chack and Pop? On the NES. That's one. I played a game like this on um, the PS3. Oh, is there a two-player option? And it was like oh. a 3D world, and it was two, you, you, you controlled two characters, and it was just like this, except it was in 3D. Yeah. And you would build things, and you would switch back and forth, and one would be blocked, so I can't remember right. what it was called, but it was a little, it was a cute little indie game. Head Over Heels, us. Lost Vikings, Lost Vikings, yeah. yeah. That one, there's like three people that you play. Yeah, here's Lost Vikings for the Genesis. Um, one, two, or three player action. That's right. But does this, does this game, um, oh, as far as I know, it's single player. Those blue-brown guys look a little bit like Rockford. Oh, they do, actually. From uh, Boulder Dash. I don't know what to do here. 
Make well, the bottom right person is stuck. Oh, I can go down like this. Oh, this is easy enough. No, the bottom right person's done. Oh, okay. I thought, oh, this you're screwed. This How is you really straightforward. This one was easier than the previous one. I'm like, is there a trick here? <laughs> no. So tricky that it's confusing you. You can only dig dirt from the side as well, right? This is easy. Oh, yeah. Um, the ladders blend, like things blend I'm, in a bit. Yeah. I, but you can tell sometimes the play field's completely separate, sometimes they interact with each other, so. Yeah. And I like the 3D look of the background. Yeah. Like the red crosses. You can see there's a black kind of outline on the top and the left, which gives it almost a, a depth to it and a shadow. Very, very um, well done graphics. Graphics remind me of Mega Man. Yes, very much. I mean, with the ladders and everything. So, you can't get those guys from the top. No, I know what I think um, I need to do here. So that needs to go over uh, first. And so then that doesn't bury them. Drop them one by one. Oh, no, wait, I think I screwed myself. Yes, Damn it. You did. <laughs> now you're stuck. Uh, Set the Palooza says, this one took me a while to solve. Castle of Dr. Creep can be yeah. played solo and co-op. I played, is that on the C64, Castle of Dr. Creep? Oh, I remember that. Is that one with switches and, and teleporters? I just seem to remember that. Lost Vikings is an old Blizzard game before WoW. C64, yes, so I did get the right one. Yeah. Yes, you remember correctly. Yeah, I played the hell out of Dust Castles of Dr. Creep. It was a really fun puzzle game. Very, very similar, and there's like... Uh, you have to throw, turn off switches in certain orders to get by lightning bolts or something that were blocking your way. Um, yes, yeah, switches and teleporters. Links via comlinks allows up to eight players. Todd's Adventures in Slime World. Mummies and Frankensteins. Oh, very cool. Yeah, it's been a long time think, since I've thought about Castles of Dr. Creep. I had a lot of games for the C64. <laughs> so some of them I have not thought of in literally 30 years. Right. So, but they're in there somewhere lurking. Tiny little um, memories that are not connected as much anymore, but they're still in there. It's funny how the brain works with memories, and um, hey, you might as well get those. Ooh. I can't go back, though. Well, that's easy. You, you don't. You don't need that person. Go all the way to the left. Why? Then push. You can't. Oh, the you barrel, can push it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. And then you get them. Yeah. But don't go too far. Actually, it doesn't no, matter. you can't. It, it's fine. There you go. And then do what I did last time, which was castles could use a port to Atari. Yeah, and one of the Ataris. I don't know if twenty six hundred could handle that. It could, but it depends how much flashing. The twenty six hundred can do anything, but <laughs> depends how much flashing you want on the screen <laughs> how much you want to handle yeah. and what kind of low resolution graphics limited colors that you want but literally the 2600 can cover the screen in graphics um, but do you want those graphics does it work well is it painful on the eyes <laughs> I've always like puzzles like this Robo uh, Lolo on the NES yeah, I've got all the Lolos but I just haven't played them yet Epilepsy. Yeah, it can be a problem. Um, or just, just the low refresh rate. When you start getting down around the 15 hertz, that's, that creates a problem. So far they've kind of been separate. Except for the first level, like all these... Yeah, the first level was, I think was, was in a way a tutorial level. Yeah. This one was easier. But these are like playing two separate puzzles. Yeah, the past couple. I'm sure they'll integrate more. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of which, 
this is a little bit more. So I just need to push one of those barrels at the bottom into that pit and cross over. Mm, no, I think drop. what I need to do... Which will drop, and you go to the right, drop that guy down. So Twice, I'm... which allows access to that person. Oh yeah. And then I can put her here. Yeah, which will drop, drop. Yeah. You just have to be careful on that part. Be very deliberate. Because I need one. So you need to go over, yeah. and then drop, then push that one back, and then push that one forward. Yeah. And then there's... Ah! Oh, no, oh. I didn't mean to do that. And then this girl needs to come. Dystopia. Dystopia. That's flashy. <laughs> it's a flashy game. Which is unfortunately why I've never played it on the show. It's just, it's, it's so flashy it's hard to play. Um, Who's that made by? He likes making a lot of flashy, flashy, flashy games. Pushy. I love push how the limitations of the twenty six hundred. Every once in a while, you have the same elements, but yep. then they're, they be, you, they throw in zombies or they throw in <laughs> like they're the the. the the level colors change and the graphics change a little yeah. bit and it looks really nice. It's oh, a really yeah. nice looking game. And it looks like the animations are just a bit off of each other. Mm. Like all the zombies are the same, but mm. the player's a bit off. Um, I love this Egyptian music here. Yeah, yeah the, the very themed look on this one. With the, I guess they're mummies, right? Inside um, pyramid. Uh, 2600 Pac-Man, yikes. Yeah, that's a 15 hertz. 15 hertz is too much. It's too low, unless you really know what you're doing. Like, you look at uh, Thomas's uh, Robot City, and that's a 30 hertz game, but it's totally fine. The tanks are... are I guess the, the, the colors are, are pushed up so that the, the 30 hertz is... You don't even notice it, actually. And also, it employs the flashing in the animation, so it actually helps. Mm. Uh, it would probably be better if Dystopia did slower flashing in the style of, of adventure. Yeah, Dystopia, instead of you know flashing everything constantly, you could have things that flash on, stay on, and then flash off, and flash That's on, flash off, like that, that and take That's... turns, rather than everything just trying to be all at once. Yeah, Robot City's animation looks great, especially his use, clever use of the ball for your player character. Uh, really, really effective. Just have to be on the correct side. And so now you're down, back down to one, one person. One person, just hmm. changing a little. Yeah. Missile, sorry, not the ball. I thought it was the ball. I think somebody else mentioned it was the ball. But it is not. Um, looks like the mummies are peeing. Yeah! <laughs> I guess that's their like little the dangly mummies. bits. Yeah, little dangly bits. <laughs> not what I meant. Um, of, the, uh, of the wrapping. Oh, scarab beetles. Cute. Very nice. Great themes. Okay. It, Money Funster said it made me feel, feel ill. <laughs> due to the flicker. Yeah, you have to be really careful with how far you push 2600 games. You have to kind of make the game fit the system. And obviously this game really fits the system well. Um, like you, you can't push systems too far or else the games don't really look great. One doesn't look challenging at all. Like, you just get them. Just no. go, get that one from the side. Oh, how do you get those? You two? cannot block the ladders. I think that's the key. So, um, I think you get the middle one. I'm just thinking. I think you get the middle scarab first, and then you want to drop things into the center so you can get them. Oh. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. Yeah. You do not want to block the ladders. Right. So I'm gonna do this dude. Oh! Dystopia is over ambitious. Yeah, I mean, great. I wish somebody could make a game like Dystopia, 
but um, it has to have the right implementation. Like I think Dystopia is a land uh, resource management type game. Um, uh, I played around with flicker technique on the 7800 increased colors. It works, but you have to be careful. Mm. This really does translate well to the 7800 Yeah, it's it's awesome. And the great thing is about is once you have a game on a system, you know that you can make a bunch of other games like that. Okay. Oh, you can push that to the, to the right hand side and just keep piling stuff up on the right, but then you'll never get to the right beetle. Why? Uh, all you have to do is push that one block that's below the beetle, and then you can get it. You don't have to push more than one. But you have to be careful with the block after you push it down. No, see, they float. Oh no! What? That's okay. No, this works. Oh, you build up to the beetles. Yep, that's what oh. I was. That's what I said. You have to. Don't blend by more than two Lumia steps and use checkerboard pixels. I think the the closest on a 2600 that uh, this game comes to is what's that game called? Robo Robo Mechanic. You screwed up. No, just go down and around. Yeah, Robo Mechanic, and that is a brilliant piece of software. Um, where it is a play field like this, where you're pushing things around, mm. it does have, I think it's like 30 hertz flicker, um, but it's totally fine on the eyes, and it's got a grid completely like that. Um, you could probably make this using the reduced version of this, using the Robo Mechanic engine. Uh, still work in progress, I hope. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's, yeah, he was kind of getting frustrated with, on Robo Mechanic, with the amount of space he had left, because he wanted to, and I thought you were helping him with that thrust. Somebody was helping him, trying to crunch down the memory he had, or the, the amount of ROM space he was using up to get in those last levels, because he was trying to pack in a ton of levels. And I guess he didn't want to increase the, the ROM size. He wanted to keep it at whatever it was. 32? Something like that. I can't remember. Robo is an insta-buy, yes. Oh yeah, you did offer to help with us. Thank you. And by the way, what Matt's been able to do with Arkanoid on the 7800 is amazing. Can't wait for you to all demo that in the future. Yes, well, yeah, I. this is great. This is a lot of fun demoing a uh, 7800 game. And there's so few 7800 games made that it's going to be such a rarity to actually play them on, on the show. Um, so that it won't, it won't overwhelm 2600 games, which there's so many made all the time. You are oh, screwed. shoot. Yeah, I should have gone down and around. Yeah. Still a work in progress. As I mentioned, the sound is not accurate in the emulator. Oh, okay. Still quite good. Like the, I don't hear anything wrong with the sound. I don't have it super loud, but it's probably just not the tones that you want, and it doesn't sound right in emulation. It would be nice to see page homebrew somehow get a hold of a multi cart for the 7800. That would be nice because I always like playing on real hardware, if possible. Um. Oh. You, oh yeah, you can get across and yeah. then you build the bridge. Yep, okay. yep, yep. This, I guess you can use the save key for the 7800, right? Other than that, I guess it's just the joysticks for hardware. There's not any add-ons for the 7800. But it's still always better using um, original equipment. And I have used the 7800 on the show before. Okay, we're going to wrap this up at 30. <laughs> Level 30. All right. But we can continue another not. show. <laughs> we can continue another show on this. Maybe we can do level 33, and you can have a third of it completed. It is getting 
we are completing it pretty quick, though. I mean, not as quick as the first couple levels. And the 7800 plays 2600 games. That is true. Tones are out of tune on the lead channel. Oh. I have a feeling there'll be a lot more 7800 stuff this year. Oh, really? Hmm. That would be good. This is get that beetle on the right. There's two. There's one, only two. two. That's all you need is two. One, two. Yeah, but how do I get that over. over? There's a brick wall there. What? See? Uh, you drop that top one. Yeah. And? And then you go back around, dig through the dirt, and push that next one over. What top one? What, what are you talking about? Top, top, top. top oh, right. they're up there. Oh, yep. sorry. I thought those were bricks. That makes a lot more sense. Yep. Uh, now, just before I do that, and well, it's I not need blocking to anything. do... And it's not the same on the left, though. No. That's the problem. So, is there an order? Do I have to do one before oh. the other? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There is a brick. Nope, no, no, it's fine. That one. Yeah, yeah, it drops. That's fine. You have to dig out I that just piece have to of dirt go... first. Go down, dig a dirt, go around, push go the back block down over. and around. Yeah. Okay, it's my turn to play, actually. My turn. My you turn. didn't do 30. Okay. No, you finish this oh, one yeah. off then. <laughs> We've already figured it out. Yeah. Well, we think. I just sent him a reminder. I hope he reacts. Yeah, I really want him to finish Robo Mechanic because it's like that close. Like everything's done, I think, except for. <sighs> Fine. No, I don't think so. There's no squishing. Good. Oh. Wait. Yeah, you're fine. I'm fine for now. Yeah. And then I can drop this side too. Yeah, exactly the same. Yeah, I think he's got all the mechanics. You're not gonna get that beetle. What? <laughs> On the left. No, it's sometimes it's better to do it last because oh. sometimes you screw yourself. If I get that beetle, I fall down to the bottom. I just. Okay. No, don't. I can't do that. Yeah, you can do either one in either. One. I'll fall down and then yeah. I have to go back around. Okay. Yeah. 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 You're fine. Sometimes it's the last bit of a project that's hardest to finish motivational-wise. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Especially when you're trying to, I'm guessing, optimize? Or... I don't think he's trying to optimize. I guess he's trying to figure out a way to pack in all the levels he wants. Level thing. And he definitely wants to get all the levels he intends. Ooh, look at all these guys. So, so they the, all drop. No, the beetles do not drop. Ooh. So that's what you have to. So I have to climb on these guys. Well, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to clear them in a certain way that you don't. Right. Screw yourself. Uh, so you will. I have to walk across. Do not so we, whatever you do on the inside, you have yeah. to go out the other side. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to get back into the middle. Right. So if I go two parts in, I, if I go one, I can get out. Oh no, I can't. Because you can you cannot fall down from the top in any way. Damn it. I don't think. I think I know what I need to yeah. do. Yeah. Definitely though. Need that to will get fall. two of these guys down. You can go and back and forth, and and and. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I mean. The beetles will stay, yeah. and yeah. And then I need to drop it one more so that I have an entrance in the top. Yes, but yeah, there. There. But then you can't get back in underneath. Um. Yeah. I'll be coming in through the top, working my way down. No, I think I think you want to drop those all the way down. Mm, no, because mm -mm, then I can't. I you can can't push. Get that you can push those side ones over though. Oh, oh, oh! You might be right. I mean, I could be wrong, but it's this is the kind I of. I think game. you're right. I think you're right. I just get push, push, and up to the level where you can get get the higher ones. So now, should I just clear these guys out? <sighs> You can try it, I mean... And then you have to get, you have to lead out. I think you, I think so. Yeah. And now it's about building platforms to get the beetles. So I definitely need to push one in. 
and another one over. And you can fall down onto, yeah, so if you push one over, you can fall down from right. the ladder. I can get this top row. Did I want to do that? I think no. I have to build up the left hand side as well. Because you want to go across, yeah, because otherwise you'll, you'll, you'll get trapped in the middle. This is a fun game. <laughs> <laughs> These are the games I enjoy. <laughs> so should I leave that that? I've been very quiet this this, <laughs> this stream. Uh, no, I think you want to move one more over. And then you can just push walk straight across. But then what do you do? Oh. No. Uh, ooh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Uh, no, no. no. You, 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 so you can get one. Oh. No, I can't get, get one. Yet. Get the beetle. Push it back out. No, I can't get any of the beetles now. I've screwed it. No, get a beetle. Push that out. Can you not? That doesn't help. You can go back around the outside. Yeah, I know. But I can't get those beetles inside. They're trapped. Are they? Yeah. Hmm. Can't get in. Can't get in. Maybe you have to clear the middle then. I think we're on the right track. It's just the order. So maybe you want to clear the middle beetles first, like create a path. I think what you did was right, Yeah. but you want to create a path through the middle first, if that makes sense. Um, so that you can maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like oh this. no, no, yeah, yeah, you can do that. So if you, if you push oh. the, the middle one over. Yes. So go up one, sorry. Push that one over. Yeah. I could be wrong, but push that over. Oh, shit. Yeah, go up and down and around. Yeah, one beetle. <laughs> Which is fine. Oh, God. Maybe this is fine. And then I get that bottom beetle. And then go down, and, and then, then I you get, push that over. I get that beetle. Do a similar thing. Yeah. The top one might be left by itself. Um. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Oh shoot. No, I think you can make that work. So get the beetle. I think I should. Get the beetle and it falls down, and then put put a barrel on top of the green guy and get that other beetle. So if you get that oh, beetle, yes, right, and then you fall down, yes. Oh, and I can still get uh, the mummy. Maybe. No. Uh, get, get. No, stop, stop. No, 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 no. no. Listen to me. Listen okay. to me. Listen to me. You have to get the green guy first. Okay. Oh no, you can't. No. Because you can't get the green guy if that barrel falls. Oh no! I fall with no, him. No, yeah, you fall with him. Oh, yay! yay. <laughs> Woo! Okay, we figured it out. Thirty-one? Uh, Are we going to thirty-one? You want to play another round? Oh, it's going back to simple. I want to go to thirty-three. That okay. means I've done a third. To eighty? Oh, oh, it's only eighty, not a hundred. Uh, yeah, let's do thirty. Let's stop there. Okay. Yeah, we're yeah, at thirty because this looks like a new thing, right? Like you're crawling over the oh, other person. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is like, here's your tutorial. <laughs> yeah. Walk over the other person. Now they're interacting together. Yes, That's... more so than, than the previous anyway. one. Excellent. <sighs> I love how the grannies have wrinkles on their faces. Yeah. <laughs> there so is Millie and Molly. Yes. Um, Finish it and hold on to the passcode. Ooh, yes. Oh, we didn't. Oh, well, we can watch it in the stream. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, um, I want to so, go back and finish it. Thank you so much um, to MK Smith for passing that over. Um, where's my notes? Um, and letting us debut this mm. uh, world debut on on the stream. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's not going to be available. Okay. Um, yet, because he wants to 
get everything cleared with the C64 developer. Mm. Um, so there's not going to be a thread in the Atari H forums. It's going to be nothing. Okay. Just, just nothing. Okay. Don't, don't talk about it, people. Don't talk about it. <laughs> it exists here. <laughs> just watch our stream just over and over again. Just watch our stream. <laughs> um, and he'll be he'll be sorting that out. So I, I really want to thank him for letting us do this, even though it's not official mm. yet. But it's an incredible port, and I'm sure everybody is going to be looking forward to mm. um, playing. And because um, just everything about it, from the music I, to the graphics to the color, it's just everything. Keep it secret. Keep yeah, it safe. Yeah. <laughs> I want to play it to the level 80, but what oh, what yeah. I want this to do... It's like Bubble Bubble for no, me. No, no, but what I want to do is I, I don't... The, the one thing with playing these games, and like I know people on streams like to see people run all the way through they them. They do. They don't but, have to watch it if they don't. No, but, but what I'd like to do is play this offline, and then when I have the passcode for either 79 or 80, just play level 80. Oh. To show that I can make it to level 80. Oh. If oh, that played makes sense. offline? People like... They, they can skip it. Yeah, but, we can but give you're, them giving, that you're giving away. You're giving they away. Can the, yeah, they can skip it. Yeah. They can skip it. That's me. You're giving away the ending if you play a level eighty. Yeah, but but you have to get to level eighty. You do. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have the passcodes. <laughs> no, but I want to get the passcode to yeah. level eighty and play level eighty once I've gotten to the top. But I we just will. I just I know what you're saying. People yeah. want to watch it. They don't have to watch it. Yeah, the title screen graphics are amazing. They're beautiful. With, I love the color changes. With the animation. The dia diagonal the animation. cutout animation. This is a great game. It's a really fun yeah. game. I love games like this. Oh, yeah. Love puzzle games. games like this. That, that, and it's not too much of yeah. like Zen. sitting and thinking. You are... Well, there's a lot of doing. Because some learning, puzzle games we yeah. play on the show, it's like you just sit and stare at it for five minutes. Well, <laughs> I you were doing all the talking. I was sitting and That's staring true. at it at the beginning of every level, which is why you need two people when you're doing these Wouldn't streams. the secret be out at this point? Yes, it is out, but it's not out. <laughs> it's confined to a certain yeah. space. Yeah. It's very beautiful. <laughs> Carl G, the G is Gandalf. Yeah, if anyone wants to do 7800 Bubble Bubble. I have oh the theme music God. done. Uh, you know what? 7800 Bubble the, Bubble? The, the, the theme Has music? Has that not been done? That's... That's unbelievable that hasn't been done. If it hasn't been done. Um, Bubble Bobble, we were playing it. We, yeah, we were playing it on... Um, the Switch. The Switch. And, like, that music just gets in my head all day long. And it's a short piece of music, but they've perfected a small loop that it's just yeah. fine. Mm -hmm. um, Speaking of earworms, we were driving around, and there uh -oh. was a for lease sign up. And there was graffiti on all these for lease signs. And one of them had Navidad <laughs> underneath it. For at least, for Navi. least Navidad, and then that was in my head for the rest of the day. So try to get that out of your head. <laughs> <laughs> but it was great. I'm like, oh, it kind of made my day. I laughed out loud, and then I had that song in my head. <laughs> Singing Christmas songs in the middle of, of, of April. Thank you. You're welcome. We're swapping over now? We are. We're going to the 2600. Okay. And amazingly enough, yeah. we are playing another... Where is my mouse? Why is it? There we go. Um, we're going to be playing another puzzle game. Okay. <laughs> it just happened to come out at, at the same time, and I'm like, I want to play this right away. Yeah. Um, and we're going to see how well it does on the composite Atari, because it involves colors. Mm. Oh, guys, I'm out. Ah, okay. Well. Since, since, since Papalooza, <laughs> thank, thank you for coming. Thank you so much for making that amazing, or converting that amazing music. Yes. Um, for that game, it's yeah. incredible. It and, sounds really, really good. And Yeah, um, chores, yeah, Sundays. So, <laughs> since the Palooza, is, the sprites are done and the music <laughs> is done for Bubble Bobble 7800. Yeah. Somebody just needs to do the easy part of yeah. programming the whole game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for dropping by yeah. and, and answering fun. people's questions yeah. and adding a bit more... Um, information to our our gameplay yeah, yeah. bubble bubble hmm, might have to ask matt about yeah. bubble bubble <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah that's a really good project for him to next do if he's been able to do this game well no he said he already has the bubble bubble music yeah so yeah Palooza does yeah. yeah but oh for the, making the game, the game is yeah a big, bubble bubble's wonderful huge chore yeah. oh yeah. yeah it would addictive it would just be incredibly popular. I he would see. just play it for hours on end. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like yeah. one of your favorite games. It is. Yeah. Because yeah. it's just simple, and it's so cute. fun, it's two player yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, hold down the middle button. All right. Atari box. Yeah, it's the old Atari box. Mm -hmm. I know. But right now I'm keeping it going because uh, there is somebody working on a 
conversion from yeah. old scores to new ones. Um, it's Carl G, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, so that we can take all the, all the scores off the old one and put it on the new one. So if I put new scores on the new one, they're going to be destroyed mm. by the old scores. <laughs> so I only need the new one for specific games. Okay, so we're going to be playing uh, Shades. Uh, it's 2020 uh, Work in Progress by Paul Lay, a.k.a. Playsoft. It was made a while back, he said. And I said, it's a work in progress. And he says, no, it's an abandoned work. Because <laughs> he says he's not going to work on it anymore. Okay, okay. Or at least it's not, for now. not it's, right now. It's on the, on the back burner. Yeah. But my terms for work in progress and completed are for the uh, Homebrew Awards. There's only two categories. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Work in progress means not completed, yeah. in other words. Mm. But I just keep it work in progress because most are being worked on. Mm. Uh, this is uh, first posted April 20th. This build is from April 20th. I don't know the actual build date of it. I'm um, sorry. No, it's okay. Where's my rope? There it is. Uh, it's a 4K game. Other games he's made, uh, nothing I've found for the 2600. Uh, he's made Astro Hawk, Rockfall for the SNES, um, Blow Sub for the 5200, Scramble for 5200, Donkey Kong Arcade for 8 bit, uh, Popeye Arcade for 8 bit, Atari Blast for 8 bit, mm. which we did play on the show, uh, Galaga 8 bit, and a bunch more um, that I'm not familiar with because oh, the colors are really good on this actually. Should be playable. Match colors. No, but they blend. I don't get it. Yeah, you match them, and then they oh. create a darker color. Oh, okay. It just starts, so I'm like, ah! I know, I know. <laughs> there is no reset on this game. We're going to have to turn off the Atari to, to play the mm -hmm. game again. It, it's He is very abandoned. Oh, oh actually. Okay, I need to get better at this. Okay, stop playing. Stop playing? Just, well, it's, it's playing. It's just playing. Yeah. Um, I'm going to show you where this came from, oh, this game. It. Yep. Um, because it was originally an iOS game. So, here we go. What? Ah. We'll start over. Um, so, one second. And I'll show you the original. Bye, Ding Cuckoo. <laughs> Bye, Ding Cuckoo. Thanks for dropping by yes, for our 7800 game. Yeah. It's always funny when we play... Um, games from other systems there's a whole bunch of different names come up yeah yeah like, oh we're here for the 7800 game yeah yeah but that's that's really cool um so this is the version that was on ios oh, okay so it's a very simple kind of matching game yeah um it does have elements of tetris where you can complete a whole line and that line disappears. Oh, okay. That would be good. But that, yeah, the good line to has to be the darkest color. Gotcha. So you want you want to build up the darkest color. Yeah. There's no getting back then if you if you screw up. No. So you're there just is. screwed. There is. But it's very hard to get back. Yeah. You have to make a full dark line. So never oh. drop a darker color on top of a lighter, lighter color. color. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Um, because there is no there's no coming back from that. Yeah, that's fair. Um, the colors on the it. iOS game there you go. have a wider range of colors, because look at that color. Well, it goes from white to dark green. Yeah, and he didn't include white, which I wish he did, because it would separate out the colors just a bit more well, on the Atari 2600 yeah. version. It's still difficult in the iOS, but I don't think it's as hard because of the color palette choices. Um, kind of like Clax. Yeah, very much like Clax. Um, but a little bit simpler. Mm. Um, so they compress down from the top. Yes. And they... He hasn't done it yet, but it's very soon. There we go. Yeah. So there's a line. There's the example gotcha. of a line going away. So let's go back to the 2600. Because right. there's not much to see here. Yeah. A, the 2600 is tailored for games like this. Agreed. Oh my god, yes. Yeah. Vertical movement, 2600, it does it like a champ. Yeah so good mm. um um tons of colors 2600 no problem and there's there's my lost game <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're gonna have to reset it that's okay is no reset. well it looks like the dark green will only uh no dissolve reset. 
Hold down the button. Oh, you have to redo it every time? Yeah. Oh, uh, no. Oh, yeah. I know. At least it should be a reasonably long game, so you're not doing it constantly. But yeah. if you Maybe mess it's... up, you can't just instantaneously... Uh... Yeah, you have to commit to this one. Yeah. Hope Maybe somebody wants to take this game up and finish it off. It seems faster than the last game. <laughs> than the iOS version? Mm -hmm. It's a little bit faster. That one matches. It's, it's hard sometimes to tell. That one matches. It wow. is. Wow. Especially when it's way up at the top. Uh, that doesn't matter. See, that's really close colors there. Oh. God damn it. Yeah. You're still fine. Sort of. Now you know I was watching videos. Yeah, about colors. About colors the other day. And the myths. That's awful. So you're already screwed. Women being able to see more colors than men. Ugh. And that was a myth, right? Or is it true? Uh, it's just the reasoning behind it was was a little garbage. Weak. Yeah. Um, but it's not that women can see more colors oh. than men. It's that men have a higher instance of color blindness than women. And I think that's maybe where it came from. Because we couldn't find any videos confirming yeah. that women see more colors. Yeah. They have higher. They are. Oh, see, it, it's it's very hard to tell sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Plumber Doctor would be a good title. <laughs> Looks like a Minecraft creeper. Oh, the final look of it. Yes, yeah. that's true. Maybe one day Dr. Mario on the 2600. Because this was in a thread of what, oh my goodness. what color matching games or color dropping or Ugh. Ugh. puzzle, puzzle dropping games could be easily made on the 2600. Look at that. And those, I, those two colors I have a really hard time with. And I think Puyo Puyo was one. That was, people said, oh yeah, that one would work well. So you're getting some pretty dark ones. It's terrible though, because some of them, like those two, you see those two colors. They're I, I know. Incredibly close. I know. Like that is, oh. oh. Buried forever. I know. And if you have one thing buried on a line, it's like, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's so hard. <laughs> Oh. oh, you're giving up. Oh. oh, that one did match. No, I know. Oh, it's too hard now. It is too hard. Oh, dead. But he did employ some logic in this game where it it will fill in every square. It won't kill you by dropping in the middle all the way to the top. It'll torture you all the way to the last yeah. square at the end. See? It'll never drop one on the right. Which is kind of funny. Wow. You know what? The color The colors are so close. And maybe it's also the slight, like, flickering of, of uh, mm. the colors, too, which make it hard. You should try the next one. Okay, reset. Yeah. You can't. Can, Can you? Reset. Oh, over there? Yeah. Cool. Which one, the power? Yep, yeah, power off, then power back on. Do you mind? Okay, I'm going uh, oh, yeah. right to grab the Okay. Right back. <laughs> okay. Just leaving me again. Okay. Yeah, this, I, I just wish it was just a little bit wider of a palette. Did anybody note what score she got? I think that's to the right. Ugh. And we did some color. Nope. Yes, good. Ooh, that one's that. No, it's not. Oh, my God. That one? That one matches. Yay. That one doesn't match. We, Tanya and I did some color matching quizzes online, and I actually did better than she did. That one's lighter. I'm going to put it there. Oh, no. Okay. Not much better, but I... Oh, no, I'm screwed. That one? Yeah. That one? Because I wish this went to white. I don't know how many greens... The 2600 has but he's probably damn it oh now i've buried that one there oh no that one there no that one's light that one's light too that one's the same that one's the same there we go 
See, now I can't get a row. Because you have to have dark, dark, dark. The whole row. There we go. So, yeah, this one is available in the Atari Age forums. I think Arena Foot just posted it. Oh, 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 I'm almost close to a whole row, I think. Or not. Is that right? Yay! Yay! Got your show a row. <laughs> yeah, it's... Oh, damn it. That would have been wrong anyway. It's always good to stack a lighter one on top of a darker one. There's no issues with that because they always eventually compress down. But never start, uh, stack a darker one on top of a lighter one. That is the end. Oh, am I going to get another row? Oh, wow. Okay. I'm actually getting down now. See, I just messed up. That was a darker one. Now I'm going to have to do a whole row again. Oh, my God. See, those greens are so... The problem is not comparing the greens. Like, you can see the greens when they're right beside each other but when they're far away from each other oh that was matching you can't it's like is it the same i don't know uh, let's go there the lightest color green is no problem like that's oh maybe not damn it Ugh. Ugh. that one yes that one yes that one, no. How's it going? Uh, not terrible. It's, it's, there are a couple of shades, those, those shades, the, the slightly middle shades of green, Arts. the three middle shades brutal. are really brutal for figuring out. Ah. Uh, really uh, brutal. Yeah, I'm going to die soon. I feel like there should be a white. Yeah, just And then take out, out the take... middle, the middle of those, those three shades. Ah, damn it. Ah, damn it. Yeah. It needs it needs a white or a yellow or something lighter and then take out the middle because oh they're so hard to <laughs> Yeah I'm good. Mm hmm I didn't do fun though terrible <laughs> Someone with better better color perception than me <laughs> would do a better job, I think. Just have to wait. So and... I got five ninety. Okay. Not bad, not bad. I'll let you play one more game of this. I think we, and I'll read out what uh, was posted. Yeah. Hold it down. Yeah. Hold it down. Uh, the number, PO, overlaid on the block should be possible and would help with color recognition. The number overlaid on the block. Well, yeah, that would. Oh, press the button. Press the button. There. Preview of the next color drop is shown to the screen. It is, but it doesn't help. No. Because <laughs> even when the block's dropping, it's hard yeah. to tell what the color is. I mean, it helps a bit. It's like, oh, there's another one of that exact colors coming down. Kind of. But for matching, no, it does, doesn't does help at all. Ugh. Um, a mesmerizing, calming, zen-like experience that quickly evolves into a devilishly challenging puzzler. And this is from the original. Uh... A very simple game that will challenge See? you to think very fast. That's it. You're screwed. Meditation right off the bat. and panic. A fantastic combo. How to play. The gameplay is simple. Move the following blocks into the best position to combine blocks in clear rows. Place two blocks of the same color on top of each other to combine them into a single block of a darker color. Create a row of blocks with the same color to clear the row. Does that mean you could do a whole row of light colors to clear a row? I don't know. It's hard to do anyway. It's really hard to do. That is so really... I'm not sure if that is uh, true. And I forgot to pop in. Uh, Placeoff says, I did start programming the mobile game Shades by Uovo. Oh, it did work. Oh, wow. You can clear it. So that's something. It's yeah. hard to set up, though. It is. Like, you could put one there and it would clear if it was the right one. Uh, uh, a Tetris type game where you have to try and drop a block on another of the same shade so they merge into a darker shade. Having color shades made it well suited to the VCS, but I didn't find it hard to dis but I did find it hard to distinguish them, which is why I oh, never fuck. finished it off. It is hard to distinguish them. Well, you just have to expand it out to the white a bit. 
I and feel like it just needs a slightly different shade. Yeah, just take out the one that's really hard to distinguish. Um, and then I said, we're playing it today. And he said, and I said it was a work in progress. He says, it's not a work in progress. It's an old abandoned project. <laughs> OAP, old abandoned project. Uh, if the title screen had been added, it would have done that. So it also, it needs a reset. It needs, you can put a, put a high score if you want. It's not necessary. Um, and it needs a white color block. Or you could change the darkest green into like a dark color, like a, a black or, well, not a black, because black's background, but some other darker color. Might be worth hacking the game for the color fix if it's truly abandoned. I mean, he seems pretty intent on it being abandoned. But yeah, you could make a hack of this. That's true. Um, because it's just a color code. And it would act exactly the same. So you just shift everything over, make the lightest one white, which would show up just fine. And if there's, if he hasn't used up all the greens, you could add another green in there as well and just separate it out just a bit more. Um, because I think it's oh, too there. hard in its current state. It is very hard. Like it, Although I'm could, doing better this round than I was at the last you one. You could do it, but I think it's just a little too hard to make it like fun <laughs> like it's fun but it's like it's just frustrating it is frustrating because you, you almost get to the bottom before you can match it properly how's he doing four colors in a row without flicker that's a very good question yeah. are those play fields I'm gonna look it up I am going to look up what he used. Let's see. Um, what is this game called? Shades. Shades. Oh, damn it. No. Oh, it's so hard. Especially when you're running out of time. Oh, what, what did he use? Play field disabled, player one. He is using play field. Oh, he's using play field on the left and right. He's using player zero in the second column and player one in the third column. So that's that's what he's using. He's using play field on the on the right hand sides so that he has enough time to change the colors um and then player zero and player one so there's plenty of time so it actually worked out really well that's awesome 694 definitely better than the last round <laughs> um, good. What I, i'm getting better oh, at me. it kicked my ass but blocks drop pretty fast especially at the top yeah the key is to line them side by side if you're not sure, because it actually makes it easier to play. Is he still beeping? Oh, I'm hearing beeps in my head. <laughs> <laughs> pretty constant beep, beep, yeah. Beep, beep, <laughs> More coffee. <laughs> uh, Thomas replied in or the... too much, the one or the other. Atari H form already. Nice little project, only the colors are too close. It would be much mm. better playable with more identifiable color there, gradients. You, yes. you get used to it a little bit, but it is very hard. And then when it gets when you get to the too close to the top, it's really hard. But Did you want to play it again? I or? want to play one more time, okay. unless you want to move on to Starfire. So nope. you can say if you have more to talk about, about it. Yep. No, 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 I don't have any more to uh, talk about. Oh, yeah. That's fair. It's a fun game. Midline uh, color changes can be done, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so he did do a midline color change on the play field. Um, and he had player zero and player one, which had plenty of time, as a whole line to change the color. Um, so very, very, very clever. I didn't note what the top thing was. Yeah, no, but that, that actually matter. helps a little. The next one? Yeah. Uh, yeah, because you can kind of go, well, it's not that, but it might be yeah. that, which it's not. That one is the left. And then is another one. Oh, oh it's, not. it's not. Those are the two colors, I think. No, no, there's more than two. Trust <laughs> me. So now you're going to have to do a whole line of them. 
Ugh, it's hard, but to, it, to it is that. doable, but it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> Brutal! Yeah, that's lighter. Man. It's really light. Oh, not even matching that one. Nope. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, you put it in the right order, at least. That's the key, really. Yes. It, it'll save you a lot. As long as you can tell what's lighter than the other one. Well, and or sometimes, match it. Sometimes you can and sometimes you cannot. Yeah. Try the PAL version. Yeah, we'll try the PAL version after this. Um, it might be better colors. It might be worse colors. We'll just try it briefly. Because PAL is a different palette. <laughs> Where they might be more separate or you chose a very, very different. I, I did try the PAL on an emulator before the show. Um, it didn't seem to help. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> If I look really intense, it's like, because uh, I am. Yep. Oh yeah, you're gonna do better this time for sure. The colors are better in PAL, Al says, uh, on a PAL CRT. We'll see how it translates on uh, Frame Meister through um, Composite Out. Crud in your eyes, kitten. Oh. Oh, darker on a lighter. Oh, I have to clear a whole nother damn line. It. It's like so it just, tight. The color. Yeah. The color variation is so tight. Sometimes you can't help it because there's nothing, nowhere to put it but on a lighter color, right? Mm hmm. Nice one to go do 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 <laughs> when you've stacked them all up. Oh, those two are the worst. Oh, that was on the left. Oh, too oh. bright. Brutal. Oh. No, oh, too bright. Oh, maybe not. Nope. hardly any room to move now. Mm-hmm. <gasps> nope. No. No, I'm, I'm too close to the top. <laughs> it's too hard. You got way better last time. 694. Yeah, Holy yeah, no, I did cow. really well. I did really well last time. Yeah. I think you just get two points a block. I, I think that's if... it. <sighs> yeah. Do you get any points for collapsing them? I wasn't looking. Oh, you do. You do. You do get bonus points. Okay. Done. done 472 yeah i did really well last time um it it is, does get a little easier Kay. but okay next one star fry no i want to see the pal oh the pal colors uh, can oh, we yeah. play in pal yes oh <laughs> because the atari doesn't care what it outputs oh i see and, and it's going through the frame meister and the frame meister can take anything nice and that is the bonus yes I can play pal games sort of it does have to readjust and go oh my god what did what did you just give me <laughs> This is an NTSC. Let me figure it out. Oh, this is black and white. Maybe I can't. Maybe... Oh, this might be easier. <laughs> Maybe... It, does it still think I'm in NTSC? Mm. I thought I could play PAL games. Oh, God. It's black now. Oh. Nope. Oh, that was on the left. Oh. But black is, like, the last color, I think. That, yeah. Oh, my no, God. No, no. That, it's, it is a little bit more obvious, I think. The what? Yeah, where's the black block? <laughs> the black block is gone. You have to memorize. Oh. Memorize where your black blocks are. <laughs> oh, it does have a line. Well, that one. I does. think this should work though. <gasps> mm. uh, no, oh, should, is it flipped to black and white or something? Or it should boot into PAL. See, it flashes up color very briefly. This may or may not work. Maybe I'm mistaken that I can play PAL games. No, I'm mistaken. There are PAL Ataris. 
an NTSC Atari, so it's not going to work. Is it? Is it a Switch? No, it's not the black and white Switch no, or anything no, like that. No, it's no Switch. Okay. I don't know if anybody's made a PAL and NTSC Atari 2600. So we can't play it in PAL, uh, only for emulator. Uh, I guess we can play it in emulator. Yeah. Hi, Jerry Gray West. Yes, he is just very calm and sleepy He's right not now. dead. He's not dead. <laughs> no, he's, he's awake. He's awake. Pet him enough and he'll start purring. Oh, oh yeah. little beige belly, yes. He's a purr yes. monster. He is. So, let's go to PAL. Oh, there's this. Kitty looks like how I feel, lol. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's a lazy day, isn't it, kitten? It's a okay. lazy day. There you go. Oh, oh am I? Is this from PAL? Yep. Oh! Oh, that's a different shade of green. Might be better. Oh, it goes down fast if you want it to. Yep. <laughs> wow, that cat is seriously passed out. Oh, thank you very much, Thunkist, for subscribing. Three months. Better. It's about the same. Million Molly still on the screen. So I'm going to screw your game if I mess with it. Are you? Ignore the Million Molly. Of course, Million Molly was all the way through what we just played, too. Or maybe not. This is a different uh, scene. Okay, I'm going to. S oh, I can't switch it. I'll screw your game up. Uh, I've already screwed my game up. <laughs> it, what do you think? Is it easier? Or pretty much the same? It's a, it seems to be a shorter screen, but slower. Is that weird? It, uh, it's still challenging. <laughs> It's still challenging. It's probably just squished it. That's why. Looks like the bright is brighter and the dark is darker to me. The yeah. brighter one is brighter. It 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 it, it does look. Is the, I don't know about the darker one's darker. Good choice. Kind of. <laughs> ah, that one was matching, wasn't it? No. Ooh. Oh, went down far. Yeah. Nice. I just wish if you got a bunch of green in a row, it would let you, it would go down. <laughs> but it does yep. not work that way. Boom, boom. Yep, yep. Now you just need one on the right, one on the left. I need. But they're all stacked. A bright one. Fairly well. No, except for the bottom. Yeah, you that screw, one's out. Might screw up and at that the bottom. one's out. But you can get under uncut. Mm -hmm. Uncover that one. Oh, that one matched. Oh, no, it didn't. No, it did not. Those two are very close, yeah. those colors. Yeah, I'm thinking if the RGB modded system was working, they'd have an easier time. Oh, yeah, because colors are better represented um, on RGB than composite, that's for sure. S video is better than composite, yeah. It would look closer to the clean colors you'd be seeing here. There's a white one, finally. Ah, uh, ah, uh, dude. I think you're setting yourself up for some good stuff coming up. If you can make it. Ah. Oh. No, I can't. This is really annoying. I need some light ones. That won't work. Well, it's something. It's like waiting for a straight line in Tetris. There you go. It's going to go boom, 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 boom. Boom. Nice. Oh, you got that one now. You're going to do well this game. I don't know. We'll see. That's a good spot for it. Yeah. Oh, another boom, boom, boom. Oh, oh well, yeah. didn't mean to go down that fast. Not Damn it! Not the worst thing you could put Ugh. down there. It's a pretty dark one. At least, at least, yeah, that's true. Oh, oh. shoot! Did 
just darker blue sides. PAL ver version on Stella 6 oh, shows the shit. same green shades. Oh, okay. I ordered the 2600 RGB mod, but haven't done the soldering yet. Should be fun. There's a lot of soldering to do with the RGB mod. Good oh, luck. Is, oh, I'm, no. I know I'm just screwed now. It's, it's just... But you're doing well. Ugh, kind of. It's like this big long thing here is... Oh, the, see, that's oh. the wrong color. Uh, uh, yeah, I can't move things <laughs> nope. over fast enough. Oh, good stuff. 618, 620. Did you beat yours? Score? Yeah, I think. Uh, no, you were six. It was a high six. Yeah, but I think. Whoa! By luck, you just got a whole bunch. Mm -hmm. That happens. <laughs> Maybe by chance you'll get some. No. It's going up. It's a whole line you could possibly get there. Yeah. <gasps> Oh, I thought it was a line. Oh, it, it squished it first. Mm -hmm. Then, oh, it goes for the squish before yeah. the line. 694. I think that's the same wow. score I got last time. I think it might be. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, 694. <laughs> you tied your, mm -hmm. tied your top score. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not bad. Uh, I think it is a little easier. It seems a little. there's a little bit more of a distinction between the colors. Uh, Jerry Gray West, interesting game. Is this a port? Yes, of an iOS game. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah that is correct. Yeah. And it uh, translates very well to the Atari. It just needs a little tweaking, mm -hmm. and he could release it as a finished game. Mm -hmm. A reset button, and a white, and maybe a no one, two more colors. A mm. white and something else, if yeah. there's another green in there. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to play Starfire mm -hmm. and TSC. I'll let you play the first game. Um, now, what? I got some hints. Okay. Just one second. Let's turn down just a little bit. Um, from Thomas, who has the highest score <laughs> uh, recorded for this game. Um, practice on level nine first. Oh, and the highest wave. Highest wave. To, like, just to get a lot of practice on the hard, hard, hard. And he did say before the show, it maxes out on level 20. So 10 gets harder, 11 gets harder, 12 gets harder. Really? Yeah. Up to level 20, and wow. then it peaks. Wow. He says, only take on one enemy at a time. Because otherwise you can't defend yourself. Okay, so, so kind avoid... of bring one on. Yeah. If there's two, get them away. Yeah, get out of the way. Yeah. Um, set it to the advanced setting for more mm. points, mm. which it might still be on that. Mm. Yes. Nope. Okay. Or in advance, you get more points, which I did find increased my score by quite a bit. Okay. Um, and his high score was six thousand six hundred seventy-one. Okay, that's pretty high. <laughs> yeah. And what we need is thirty-five hundred. Yeah, and thirty-five hundred was rough so yeah go for it jump in wave nine yep so one enemy at a time which you can see on the radar <sighs> got one but you got hit twice already <laughs> but i mean you are jumping in right away to the hard <sighs> level i know see this is this is awful <laughs> awful <laughs> Yeah, no, wave Twelve nine points. is... Yeah, let's let's start on wave one. Let's do that instead. You can start on wave nine if you feel so okay, inclined. Okay, sure. Oh, when he was several years younger. Oh, come on. Doesn't make that much of a difference. Um, and the very last patch for this game was given out on December 22nd, 2004. So they're long gone. So oh, no that's more sadness. Unless sadness. they make a new round of patches. And there's renewed interest in Starfire. I know a bunch of people have, have bought it because we showed it on the show. Yeah. Um, but probably not enough to make a, a round of patches. And it's it's better to, like, yeah, those people got the patches. They were there. They, they earned them. So we last played this on April 19th, 2020. We are trying to get the, the patch score. Um, this is attempt number two. I got 26 something, I think, which was quite good. Uh, Thunkist, can you shoot the red attacks or do you have to dodge? You can, you can shoot, shoot them, them. Yeah. but on level nine, 
In level 9, you have to shoot them. Because you can't get away fast enough. In some... Well, I don't know if you have to, but... You, um, well, I theorized... It has to be really beautifully timed. There's a box in which you can shoot them. And if they're outside that box, you can't get to them fast enough to shoot them. And you have to avoid them at that point. So if, if their shots are around the edge, like just around the edge, you have to steer away from them. But if they're in the center, you have to shoot them because you don't have enough time to dodge them. Oh yeah, it's a very nice title screen. John Drill says, clearly not Star Wars. Yeah, clearly not. Not even close. It's Starfire. You have to, you have to make sure you get it right. Starfire. And the ships, the enemy ships, look nothing like other franchises. No, none whatsoever. <laughs> Not multiple franchises you might know. Yeah. <laughs> this is an 8K game. Uh, amazing. Amazing game for 8K. Uh, made by uh, Cybergoth, Manuel Rotschkar. Uh, other games he's made, Colony 7, Crazy Balloon, Gunfight, Sea Wolf, and Starfire. It is available in the Atari Age Store, or you can download it as well. And I believe... It's available with a box right now, so I should order that pretty soon. I have some other games I want to order, but there's one that's always out of stock that I want. Which is? Which is uh, the Tetris game oh. that I can't pronounce. Oh, Ch Chetri? Chetri. 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 People are going to get on me for my pronunciation again. But it's always out of stock. So oh, it's either popular or they just What's going on? don't make as many of them. So let's see if it Close is in dead. stock. If it's in stock, I'll order. I'll put an order in because there's a bunch I want to get. Let's see. Oh, I died in level three. <laughs> Do you want to try? Yeah. One second. Just want to chat. Chat here. No. No, I, I'm not getting very far, so I wouldn't worry. Ah, uh, it's not available. Cheddar? Yeah. Put some more in stock, Al! Al! I may have to send him a message. <laughs> Captain Classic, just dodge. It's a better strategy. Early levels, yes. Yeah. Dodging, for sure. Around yeah. level seven? It becomes harder. You can't really dodge. Well, them. you can, but... The edge ones You keep dodge. saying you can't, but, but you, you can, can't. but it's just... It's challenging. You cannot dodge a there's, shot in the middle. The problem is you there's so dodge. many people on this. There's so many of them on the screen that you're kind of screwed. Well, that's why, why Thomas so hard? says only take one one at a time. Oh, I'm overheating. Yeah. I always forget. The overheating. Oh, because we're in the hard level. Yeah. yeah. When the gate appears, the enemies become more aggressive. Yes, they shoot more. You better leave soon. Oh. Yeah. So no, Thomas, no, they shoot. They shoot more. We we need yeah. that. Yeah. Thomas, do you think it's worth leaving or sticking around and getting that last ship score yeah. or a couple ships? Probably in the earlier levels. Depends. Even when they're aggressive, not. there's not necessarily a lot of them on the screen, so they might no. be easier to shoot. That's true. On the harder levels, like level 9, it's just a stream of bullets. Mm -hmm. So it's pointless. I, yeah, it's better to leave. For people who don't know this game, those white dots that she just uh, passed by, they, those... They give you extra health. Health or shield. Shield or whatever. Yeah. But she's at 6. Along the top, there's yeah. the green, I do which not is your need shield. Them right now. And she's at full right now. Uh, Cheddary saves high score on cart, so it's a special board. Oh, so that's why. He might be out of those boards. I don't know what it is, but the, the, the sideways movement is really slow sometimes. Oh, it's a melody board. Uh, I guess he's out of melody boards. Boo! Boo! So. I will place my order for Starfire and Cheddary, and there's like another game that I want. And uh, what's also coming out soon? There is Robot City by Thomas yep. Yench, which is like on release candidate seven that he released today, which in my opinion is, unless there's a new bug that he introduced, is perfect. There's, there's nothing left on it. The controls have been upgraded um, since the last time we played it so that you can you kind of have a sit in place and shoot mode. So we'll be playing that next Sunday. 
Um, and there's also the normal mode where you're just moving around and shooting. And, uh, yeah, it's it's awesome. There's another one that's gone. Oh, uh, Tower of Rubble. Shoot it. Uh, Tower of Rubble, which is done because we played the final version of Tower of Rubble. Uh, there's been another a bunch of games recently, so I I I can see him doing a round of releases soonish. Just want to see what other games we've played recently that are like really close to being done. Um. Sometimes it's weird. It's like the drifting doesn't go in your favor. Mm. Yeah. It's like it's like you're drifting with the ships, and depends it's like this way, is not helpful. Depends which way they're steering. I don't. Yeah. Because they can move. They're not. Quantum tunnel is pretty much done. I think that could be put out. Um... Ninjish guy in low res world. We're playing next episode. And that is done. We'll be playing. We'll have the world exclusive final release of uh, Ninja that's Sky and Low Res World. Yes, so yeah. So that's done. I don't know that's who exciting. he plans to release that through, but um, VHC has released games through Atari Age before. Yes. Mm. So that can be done as well. So I think there's going to be a, a a round of releases soonish. Maybe a summer summer round of releases. Uh, use your radar for single enemies, yes. Yeah. Um, those are not TIE Fighters. Those are... TIA Fighters. TIA Fighters. Very clever. I'll show myself out to the exit. VHZC says. Oh, VHZC is here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're going to be playing uh, Ninja Sky in low res world on the next episode. It's the final release. We have an exclusive look at that. Uh, where it's upgraded the graphics. Um, really, really nice graphics upgrade. They're angry now. They're angry. Yeah, they are. <laughs> They're angry ships. Um, only, uh, only fifty patches made for Starfire ever made. Yeah, handmade by Manuel's wife. Handmade. That's awesome. Yeah, very awesome. Um, there was some patches recently made by somebody and said there's places you can get them for very inexpensive and very high quality so if anybody and, and more homebrew makers should oh, get out of the oh, way oh, move out of the way should it's... include patches in their games remember you overheat i know it's terrible <laughs> <laughs> you have to like because there's so much float fun. around for a while to let it Come on. There we go. Oh. oh, no! No, you didn't get it. You're out of there. Get out of there. Yeah. Doesn't get easier. Because I think patches increase the kind of feedback you get from people, the interactivity, because um, people are more engaged with the game. People like a challenge, right? Yeah, and it gives them something to shoot for rather than, oh, I think that's my best. It's like, well, no, if you push just a little bit harder, mm -hmm. we'll give you this bonus. Bonuses are nice. And I think... I don't know how much patches can the price can get down to, but probably like a couple dollars. So if you build that into the price of your cartridges yeah, over, awesome. like, you know, how many ever, ever cartridges you think you're going to sell, like mm. a couple hundred or a hundred, and you go, well, I'm going to give away 50 patches based on selling 100 games or 200 games, you can build that into the price and increase the price of the, of the box or the cartridge by... Five dollars, I guess. Because you have to ship it too. Yeah. Okay, torture time. Oh no, I have to practice. You're practicing on level nine? Bit. Just a little bit. On level nine. Level nine's hard. <laughs> yeah. Because then when I get to level nine, I'm not it's like practicing a boss. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. One at a time. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like you can't dodge the bullets very quickly. 
You have to okay. figure out which way the ships are moving so you can move away from them. Oh, you're much better at targeting. <laughs> okay. I'm all over the place. So I have to get one. There's one by himself. Oh. It's yeah. the bullets. It's yeah. the bloody bullets. There's not even a ship shooting. Like, where'd the bullets come from? Ah! You'll just get all these and then go to the exit. <laughs> every level. Let's get all the bonus ships. There's not bonus ships every level. Though. No, there isn't. Unfortunately. Oh. It's just so and dead. fast. It's so fast at level <laughs> wave nine. Manuel was very innovative. Seawolf was mm. the first colored cartridge. Mm. Colored? Oh, you mean the plastic colored? Mm. Oh, that's crazy. So much happening. On the sc oh my god, it's 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 insane. It's like you're getting hit. You're running into the bullets without knowing they're there. Yeah. I think that's the thing I need to concentrate on right now is practicing Get dodging? Dodging the bullets and shooting the bullets. It's definitely you right. can't shoot the bullets. <laughs> I, I swear no, I swear you can't. But you, you can't have shoot to get the bullets. The enemy in the middle you of the screen. You have to just get out of the way. Like it's crazy. You have to get the enemy in the middle of the screen. To shoot therefore, it. he's firing at the middle of the screen and you can't dodge it. You'll never get the guys if you just keep dodging. You have to your shoot bullets. and dodge. Yeah, that's true. That's, you have to ah, uh, you have to lead into the enemy with their bullets. Um, if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Like you follow their bullets to them. Yeah. That's a problem too. I don't need to practice. This. I need to cool down, and then go pick one guy off. Yeah, but it's not one guy. That's that's kind of. Yeah, yeah. it's just so many at, mm -hmm. at once. It's so hard to hit those bullets, so it's hard to hit the ships so in the fast. first place. Because because you're steering, but you're not, you're drifting. You so are. you're not, it's, it's, pushing on the Jeez. joystick doesn't mean you're moving the same what? speed every relative to the enemy every single time, so it's quite challenging. It's very good, though. Oh. My it works really well. Is there a wave limit or does it keep going? I think they said 20 was sort of the well, max, right? 20 is where the hardness is. Yeah, but then it doesn't get any harder after that. So to me, that's almost like a wave limit. You can keep going with the waves, yeah. but nothing's actually changing past 20. If you've la mastered level 20, you've mastered the you're, game. You're pretty good, yeah. But uh, I, can't ma I can't even survive level 9, let alone master. Ah, uh, what? What just happened there? There was nothing on the screen. No red. Okay. There's just so many in the field, too. It's really hard. There you go. Someone yeah. was saying try nine with low difficulty, but um, uh, thrust. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because you can it, switch yeah. mid game from high to low difficulty yeah. too. Okay. Just for practicing. Jesus. It's like it's like um. It's it's really hard to hit those bullets though. I just I don't know how you would. You'd have to be extremely precise. <laughs> you have to be extremely precise yeah. if your tactic is going to be to shoot the bullets to hit the guy. You have to shoot the bullets. I, g I guess there's off, cha off chance that you pass by them. Like that. And maybe their bullet won't hit you. But their bullets are so fast, you can't dodge them. Crazy. 
seriously. Yeah. The point is, if I can't pass level 9... You're not gonna get to I cannot get the patch. No. And I have to pass level 9 on hard. On hard? Yeah. Is that what they said? Well, that's what I figured. Well, you just have to do more levels in that case. If you don't play on hard. Nothing was on the screen! How is that even fair? Where there's not a bullet on the screen. Yet. Still hits you. That one I should have made it go off the screen. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like you're leaning into them, but once they, if they shoot from the side, then you're screwed. It's going to hit you. Yeah. Can't even hit the guy who's shooting him, so it's, he's, 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 he's too far away. away. He's too far away. Is there a pattern maybe to their shots when they stop shooting for a while? Oh my god! How did 50 people do this? <laughs> they spent a lot of time with it. <laughs> it's usually how it works. <laughs> Look, where's the ship that shot that? Oh, it's gone. Okay, I'm gonna practice on hard. On hard? Do it on easy. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I what I can do to get this. I, c I can't even dodge dodge bullets that are on the sides of the screen. They're barely. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to look at the radar. I don't. It's, it's a lot of color bleeding going on. But there's on the there's radar. like flashing and flickering, and there's nothing on the screen. It's very bizarre. Yeah, there's it's, real there's ships some in issues this. in there. Composite issues. Yeah. And interference from my lights. Is it? Yeah. Mm. All the terribleness you see on the screen. I mean the bleeding. The squiggly. The bleeding. The squiggly. Oh, the squiggly. Uh, the, the bleeding as well. Um, is all because of these lights. Mm. I'm going to post something on the forums about electrical interference and how to reduce it. Mm. Because they're all on the same circuit. There's probably no solution. So plug it into a different circuit. Mm. Thomas, help. <laughs> is it just skill? Is it, like, it or is there a be. secret to dodging these bullets that you have half a second to shoot? I can't even get them in my... I'm, I went directly towards that one. But I don't think you're supposed to. I think you have to keep moving and just try to hit them. That seems to be the best approach a lot Look of Look at the that time. one. There's no ship there. It's like... Like that supposedly... That one was yeah. how I think it should go. You shoot the bullets until you get to the ship. Yeah, but that's... That, and again, if you have that skill, maybe that's, that's all it is. You just work on that skill. But, uh, that's not an easy thing. But you're changing direction, mid-movement, and that's when they hit you. Yeah. You can't go towards them and then turn back because you're trying to follow them. That's when the bullets hit you. So I think I think you have to be careful with how you stop and pause and turn because then you just become a target. It is. It's something to do with the, the turning into them, turning away from them. Hmm. Just tried level nine myself. Can't say I'm doing much better than you. <laughs> You need the death blossom from the last Starfighter. You can shoot in all, all directions. directions. I think that's true. I do need the death blossom. There, that's how you do it. I just have to keep doing that forever and ever. Maybe there's 
better joysticks to use than that one. This is working fine. Yeah? yeah. I'm not having trouble with the joystick. You don't think the, uh, the other one would be better? More precise? No, it's it's responding fine. Yeah. There we go. I did okay, you died. but yeah. I died so quickly. Because I did make it to level 9, didn't yeah. I? When I was playing. Uh, yeah, no, you did. You made it pretty high. I think you did make it to level 9. And then I died. Yeah. So level 8 is fine for me. Okay, we're doing a run. Just want to see. A 06502 says, If your shots are only in the lower half of the screen, there's a built-in disadvantage to flying upward. You should fly downward. Oh. I don't know if it makes that much of a difference. It just, it just, it, 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 it they, they switch depending on your movement. They, yeah. they come down or they come up, so. So down is faster. No, if you look, if you look, like the, 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 the blue dots come from all kinds of different angles. So yeah, they're not necessarily coming from down or up. No. What are you saying about dodging is uh, no, no. easier down? No, if your shots are only in the lower half of the screen. But you're, they're not really, they, 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 hit the middle of the screen and they come from different directions. Oh, my shots. Yeah, your shots. All unless it's, unless it's, it rotates. unless they're talking about the guy, sh he's talking about the guy shooting at you. Oh. Yeah. He said he, he was thinking it worked like Star Raiders. Oh. No. I haven't seen any pattern in terms of where shots come in from. Yeah, come, as far as being shot at you, not your shots. Right. I think it yeah. depends on which direction you're going. Yeah, the so. blue dots come from different angles. Oh shots. my, those don't have any effect. They have to be in the center of your radar. They don't hit them unless... They don't hit them from the But sides. the red ones drift upwards, or they... I don't know, I'm going to pay attention now. No, they're drifting direction. down. Yeah, they're they, going. they are targeting you. Oh yeah. They're going towards you. So I'm not... Now I'm, point, I'm holding da uh, up, which makes me go down. Let's just try that out. I think at this level on hard, you cannot avoid every bullet. By well, you have to go side direction. to side to avoid them. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's... This is where you couldn't avoid things, by just going in a mm. diagonal direction. Yeah. I think on level 7 or 8, you could. You could, yeah. By just strafing and luckily get them in your crosshairs. Mm. And shooting one by one. Anyway, okay. Oh, the shots go in a circle. Yeah, yours do. It doesn't... That's just for show. Yeah. It, they have to be yeah. in your crosshairs to yeah. actually be mm. hit. Mm. We did find out that um, shooting these special dudes... Give you lots of points. Give you points, so it's worth, it's worth getting them if they appear on your level. They don't appear on every level. And, and yeah. some of them appear multiple times, and some only appear once, so... I think there's a timeout, right? So that's when you jump waves. So, um... Yes. It's not about how many ships you shoot. No, it's, it, it There is the a timeout, time yeah. And the ships go, get really angry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when the space portal appears, they get really determined to hit you. I should practice shooting their shots. go and after the portal appears the special ships don't come on the screen no no they do disappear we're on hard mode so that means I overheat faster quicker. but you get higher points And we found the trade-off is worth it. Yes. Because I got, like, at least Much 500 to 1,000 more points by playing. See, here, you can shoot the enemy and wait for the, the shot to get closer to you and then shoot the shot. But at, at wave 9, the shot comes at you so fast, Yeah. it's actually hard to even dodge it. So, yeah. That's okay. I'm sure you got points oh, for that. Now they're, angry. Getting, now they're angry. But I'm on a low enough level that it's fine. Yeah. You can manage not. it. 
They're not too brutal. Oh, they all ran away. <laughs> yeah. So you do want to shoot as many as you can as quickly as you can. Yeah. Because And you... get all the special dudes. Yeah. If all the, the special if ships. Exist. If they appear. Which they don't always do. Overheating, there's a star. Death star? No. Little thing that will help me. There you go. I like how the background changes color too when you're at different shield states. The sides? Yeah. No. It is very. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh! Tardis! Duck! Get the Tardis, get it! One of the easiest ones. Oh, they're angry now. That's fine, I guess. Shields in reserve. Oh. Oof. Overheated. Yeah. Oof. Anyway, no. No. Good. Oof. Angry. Oh. Well, Get all the points you can, especially in the lower levels. I don't know if there's a bonus for how quickly you complete it. Mm. I don't think so, because of the... Why don't you leave? But we are going for score, and it's easier to hit them at the lower waves, so there's sort of this... I will you be leaving can leave. soon. That was getting a little difficult. Yeah, but it's one of these things where is it better to stay at the easier level and shoot them and get the, the points, or go to a higher wave... But then you're continuously ducking out the moment you can at the higher waves because it gets they get really aggressive yeah. towards the end. So, oh, oh, they got a boat ship there. Yeah. Oh, oh, there it is. There we go. And I don't know. I'm sure there's a trade-off, and I'm sure there's a number crunch you can do and figure <laughs> that out. But yeah. um, but I feel like at the lower levels it's better to get all the ships and get the extra score because it's they're easier to get. Yeah. Um, you might as well. Like, there's no downside to getting that last ship. As long as you're dodging their bullets. And you have enough shield. Yeah. Although, you do get more for the ships at higher levels, I think. You do. But so, a point is a point. And if it puts yeah. me over the 3,500, that's... Again, as, as long as you're not going to get hit, then you're probably okay. You get the star. Been hit three times. No, it's, it's, it's already... The portal shows up, the stars disappear. Oh. Everything disappears but the last few fighters. Oh, okay, we're leaving. <gasps> oh you died. <laughs> oh, I did die. Yeah, you died. Damn it, 1364. Wanna play? No, you play the next okay. one. detriment. If you don't have the ability to shoot the enemies, you're done. So you have to stop shooting so rapidly when there's not no chance of hitting. Them. Pick your battles. Which gets very hard in the higher levels. Okay, calm down, lasers. Calm down, lasers. Anybody? Nope, all gone. But you lose lives, you need six later on. Oh yeah, that's right. You only lose... I thought it reset every level. I have an idea. Uh, you only gain one each level. I thought it reset to all six, but I was mistaken. You that's need... why I was confused, because I was confused. Yes. You need the plus card to work with the speak and spell so you can chat with each other over the Atari voice. That would be funny, awesome. Funny. That would be awesome. There you go, Someone somebody. needs to work on that. <laughs> I think that would be hilarious. That's right. Wi-Fi connect and just creepy voice each so other out. you can't out. see the text, you can only hear it. That would be good. 
Yeah. Especially for or talks. you can see it. It doesn't really matter. It'd yeah. just be cool to interact with each other with the with the speak and spell voice. Yeah. Spell and speak. Spell and speak. <laughs> Sorry, spell and speak. Atari taunts. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they chat. Yeah. Well, that's what they're, uh, Andrew is going to do for chess. But if you could... You if you could, could pick, actually taunt each the other. Taunts. Like you have some built-in ones. Oh, can you imagine? Yeah. And you pick from a list. And you pick from a list and you connect you with could, each other and you just taunt each other as you're playing. Typing out is very slow. Oh, God, that would be hilarious. And it's great for games like chess where oh, they're simple lots games. Lots of time. Yeah, and you just take your time. Until the other person's move. <laughs> uh, you can even call check and checkmate on oh, each yeah. other. Although I've always been terrible at remembering to. Is yeah. that like a thing you have to say? Like it's an official like you have to say checkmate or. Does I think it count? you are, but I don't. Don't ask me. I'm no. I'm no chess master, so. I'll ask Aaron. Yeah, I think if you're playing, you're supposed to. Although you would know. Yeah, it's like visually, like. But I mean, check doesn't really mean anything yeah but it, it it's 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 just a signal saying, no saying in check is means oh I'm, I'm threatening your king right and if you're not a great player then that's the indication oh my king is being threatened i need that's to i need to worry about the my other king. player yeah I, if you know how to play chess you're going to notice it right away then i I, better, I don't know you I better think. not to say it because then it the no but you, you have to say that. it you have to recognize it i think you have to recognize it. You have to say it out loud. You can't let someone not be aware of it in the game. You have to. You have to say it. If you're not like me, you would probably miss it entirely. So. Oh yeah, I would. Ah. Now is the time to start shooting the bullets if possible. Shoot them when they're crossing your crosshairs. I haven't been getting a lot of bonus ships. One. There was one um, game that I played last time. I was got a ton of the bonus ones. Like tons! But I think it was on the easy level. Oh, this one's in the It's... Ah! Uh, knew it. <laughs> now I'm in trouble. Oh, yeah, score. The level is this. Well, you lose... Yeah, 1487. Oh. Oh, get, get it. Did it hit twice? No. I, didn't, oh. I think I was just off of it. Mm. I went from pink to white. That's why I was wondering. Mm. Did it hit it twice? Mm. Get out of the way. Uh, Don't turn towards them. Just cycle around. You're like turning back to it, but you can just cycle over. Easier and then you done. avoid... Yeah, but then you avoid the... At the higher levels. Oh, so. Remember, the laser cools down faster when it's less hot. Oh, so if you keep it low, it'll stay lower easier. Okay, thank you very much, Thrust. Your laser was too hot. Yes, it was. Yeah, I didn't see that message. Um, so yeah, keep it cooler. Keep it lower. Don't keep it at a high level. Very smart. Okay. Mm. Yes, it does cool down really quick at the bottom. Is this on the high level? Yep. So keep a watch on it when it goes up to the high. The, uh... Oh, they're about to... Hmm. I think it's about the same. That's about the same all the way to the uh, midway point. I'll have to see it when it gets, like, hot. High, 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 mm -hmm. and it does. And it cools down while you go through the through the portal, even though it resets when you get to the next level. Are there any? 
ownerships? I haven't seen any. No, no, none so far. None in either level I've played. Do you remember one and like four came up at once? It was, it was magical. It was magical. You got <laughs> so much so score on a lower level too. So there's a bit of randomness to the, the scores too. Oh, it's so slow. I mean on the invisible one. That's challenging. What was that? Oh, that, that's, <clears throat> the, that's the thing, the portal showing up. Oh, okay. Ships. There it is. <sighs> Not a fan of this. Maybe holding it like this is better. Do you want something to put it on? Have a lid. No, a lid? It's 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 the it's my wrist that's hurting. Oh. I, I don't like smacking the buttons like that. Oh, I, I'm way overheating. Ugh. trying to be a metronome over there? <laughs> yep. I don't think it's no, faster. I don't think it is faster. It's it's very steady all the way through. And the chunks don't get bigger as it gets smaller. So I don't think that's entirely true. No, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Out of there. Well, I'm not doing so well on that. Points, but oh, right there. Yeah, it's nice when they're all grouped in your target. Your laser was too hot, then the laser gets slower. Yes, the laser gets slower. That's yeah. really slow. Really terrible. You do not want to overheat your laser because you're done. You can't shoot the ships. Is it slower only when it goes right to overheating? I think so. It performs properly all the way until it hits the maximum. Yeah. But once it hits the maximum, then it's really slow. At least half speed, if not more. Yeah, that's it. Oh, oh, oh. I don't think I'm Did doing too get... well on the points side, though. No, you're I'm not, leaving I'm a not, lot of guys. I'm leaving them behind. Yeah, yeah. this is terrible for wave five. Should be around 15. Yeah, you kind of need yeah. to get as many ships as you can. As quickly as possible. I don't know if you get points for that. Maybe. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this guy's drifty. Oh, as, I hate them. As he is. Ugh. I, I can't. I'm overheating, so. Oh, you're just running away. Yeah. Lost internet, watching on my phone. What's the high score so far? Not nothing. that, nothing even N worth. <laughs> nothing worth mentioning, unfortunately. No. Uh, kind of building back up to the skill level I was I don't at. Think you, I don't think we got to 2,000, did we? Not yet, not today. No, I, I mean, I don't think the other day we oh, got to yeah, 2,000. Yeah, did. Oh, like didn't 2, you get to 26? Yeah, okay. Let me check my right. score. I'm pretty sure it was 2,600. Um, no, 23. 23, 26. Yeah. It's not very high. <laughs> it's not. No, it's not. I'm not sure what my high school is either. It's in the high thousand, I think. Yeah, 18, 17. 18. I don't like it when they're really far away. They're These guys run hit. away a lot more. Oh, You're I'm hot. Hit. You, d you can't lean into them. No. You have to run away from them. That's dangerous. Mm -hmm. You have to find the right way to run. Oh, did you get that? No. No, Excellent. I didn't get anything. I, ha I haven't shot anything this round. It's oh, useless. No. Well, it's a useless round. You have no shields left. And you'll gain one by going to the next level. There we go. That's fine. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I, I can't... Mm. The, the wave gets too high. If you're not developing score, yeah. you're not going to get a high score from yeah. it. 
you have to get as much score as you can on the lower levels. Maybe you just shoot everything. Even those little diamonds. Maybe. Might as well. It's better than... I don't know if you get points for them. There's no information in the manual about points. No. How many points you get for what? On what level? Nothing. Yeah, yeah achieving this patch will be quite an accomplishment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Yeah, it's just brutal. very challenging. I'm overheating. Stop the overheating. Mm. Shoot little bits, little bits at a time. Just one shot. Oh, hello. That guy I find rather hard to actually shoot. Definitely the hardest guy. Because he moves so much. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, we're done. Yeah, How many do points did I get there? So I got a lot of stars. Do they count for anything? They must. They That's must. Pretty That's pretty good, good. For wave one. Yeah. And I think your score exponentially increases. Not exponentially, but like... You get the more. wave is multiplied by the ship value, I think. Oh, okay. Achievement, but I can't stop playing it. It's a very good game. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's a not a torturous game. No. Trying to it's get... just hard. It ramps up in difficulty really quickly. Really fast. Well, no. Well, it, it's a good ramp. But once once you hit that those higher waves, they're very challenging. Hello. See, finally. you need as many of those as possible. So far, I've got my one game, each level. My game, the first couple of levels, I had, I there were no bonus. She keeps no searching for students. them. No. We're done. They can, they can reappear at any point. They can. Yeah, you're very deliberate in your shots. Have to be with the, uh, the overheating. It helps a lot. It's good to practice the... Good to practice shooting very deliberately. Yeah, I think that's the key. It also helps you with timing your uh, crosshairs mm. for uh, enemy bullets, too. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm trying new techniques now. Okay. Let's get back on track. Oh. Yeah, width wise is not the way to dodge. You have to go up or down. Do not dodge left or right unless they're like just on the edge of the screen already. and I missed a ton of them. The white thing. Where is it? White thing? There it is. Yeah, the revival. The star. There we go, the star. Oh. The points. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I got it. Another one. Oh, you're heated, overheated. Way overheated. Too many bullets. See, I. the problem is you overheat, then mm. you can't shoot things. I haven't had a good, good trade-off. Trade changing the diff switch at higher levels. Yeah, so you may just keep it the high difficulty. The Neither did I. We experimented with that, and mm. it's just you hardly gain the points fast yeah. enough. Hello. Thank you. I will take that. Where are you? 
Damn it. But the dare alert means that little boys. Leaving. Leaving. It's too crazy on high, these high levels. Yeah. Wave six. Uh, it's not good. It's not a good score. Wave six. No, no, I don't think it's a bad score for no. wave six or it's 1700. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. It was above. Yeah. Easy one. Yeah, those I want more easy. of those. And the tortoises are easy. <laughs> oh, the the, the, the ship that either. steers is harder. And, and the, the cloak invisible. ship, I think, also. It's very. It's not. Doesn't move as much, but it's harder to see. Yeah. So it makes it harder to find. Oh, just caught me. Need that. Thank you. This game has a little bit of flicker, but it's not. It doesn't impact the game too much. It's more like they're kind of. Warping out of view a bit. Come on. Oh, did it come in? Yeah, oh. that noise. There it is. Didn't oh. get many points. No. Two thousand yet? No, you only got two hundred points from the last wave. It's the bonus. Well, I'm. The bonus I'm just not is getting what gets a lot of you. Ships. I was concentrating on the bonus. But the bonus does give you a lot more. I don't know how much the ships give you. Tardis it up, man. Yeah. I'm wasting my life. <laughs> there we go. Oh. I need to. You're overheating massively. Yeah. Oh. I think the thing showed up. Did it? No. Yeah. yeah. It, it yeah. made the noise. So. Run. <laughs> <laughs> Run away. <laughs> I've got. I've had games where the bonus ships See? don't seem to appear. Yeah. So have I. Like yeah. A couple of the early ones we played today. Well, I played one the first three Nothing. levels. Two or three levels, there were almost no bonus ships, yeah. and the bonus ships really add to your score at the end of a the day. A lot. Yeah. Like, I'm not too bad. Yeah. Like for what wave did I eight. Get? This is one point off my top score. Is it? One point. Is it? Yeah. You're doing pretty good. But you're now at wave eight, which is very difficult. So. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. I can survive wave eight if I have all really my lucky. shields, yeah. but I don't. I have half, so. Good luck. Be in big Good trouble. Good luck. They're soon. all on the left there. Have to get just. Good. Good job. The rest of it is pretty hard. Yep. Yep. Dead. Oh. Wave eight's hard. Twenty-four, five, nine. Top score so far. Yeah. Me? Yeah, one more. <laughs> then I'm gonna play one more. Bonus, bonus. Oh. Such a hard time. Cool. Laser school? No. Oh, shooting the ship. Targeting. He's a tough one. Yeah, he's he narrow. On the first level. Is I... narrow too. I'm moving along the trajectory of his narrowness. Mm -hmm. I've been able to unable to complete wave eight. I think I did it once because oh. I had full shields and I was just dodging, dodging as much as I can. Um, but in general, wave eight is when it gets really hard. 
really hard to dodge. Trust. I can't imagine how I did that score back then, but I remember playing the game a lot. It's all about, just about any video game is about putting in the time. Well, for the, yeah. And then just understanding the mechanics of the movement and just making it second nature. It's like, oh, that goes there, so I have to move left. I see that, I have to move up. Stop overheating. Overheating away, overheating. <laughs> run away, run away. But I think being very deliberate in your shots is... Is a, is a key. It's a key to this. Oh, come on, shoot. And like one or two shots per thing. Like you can send out one or two to make sure that you don't miss it, but if you're not getting it in those one and two, you haven't got it. You're either shooting too early or too late. And I think I pretty much solved my overheating issues now. I didn't have too many troubles with that. Yeah. It's the dodging of the bullets. It's the really hard one that I, I'm having trouble getting past. In the upper level, seven onward, especially eight. Come on, bonus ships. I want some bonus ships this round. And there is strategy for finding the bonus ships. If you go straight up or straight across, you won't find them. You have to kind of go on a diagonal. Well, you have to cover the, the field. Yeah. And not a pure diagonal, because then you're only doing a diagonal. You have to do, like, almost two diagonals. Or go straight across and then over, and then straight across and then up, and then straight across again. And I'm overheating. Yeah. And go up or down, never left or right, when trying to get your... Heat back down because. Did you get that? Yeah, oh, might as well. Good shot. Ah! Oh! Oh, it's crazy time. Yes, you don't want to overheat. Yep. You're done. Done if you overheat. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's that's actually a good good score for level four. If you want to run to around a thousand to level four. Oof. Oh, that one. Oh, I saw, oh, I saw him too. It's invisible. Invisible dude. Where is he? Come back here. They do disappear, don't they? Or maybe uh, they don't. I don't know if they disappear. There he oh, is. There he is. I think, so they, hard to I think see. they group around him. Why? There he is. There we go. And I'm totally <laughs> overheating now. I need to move quickly. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. Crazy time? Crazy time. And I'm overheating. Don't go left or right. Yeah. Oh, God. Why aren't you moving? It's so weirdly drifty sometimes. <laughs> it's like everything moves with you, you know? Cool. Go for more points. Yeah. Might as well. well. It's not too high of a level that you can't do it. That's exactly. Is he gone? There's a lot of them around. Think about so. level. Anything past this level, I don't think you can yeah. dodge the bullets enough with almost two of them. There's a lot of them. There's another one. There we go. Nice. Extra bonus. Pretty good. I'm, trying, I'm going for score, so... The game seems to have time limit for the waves. If you search for bonus ships too long, the sound will trigger, and that's when the remaining ships rapid fire. Yes. Yeah. That's the balance between... Yeah, there's a time limit. Because sure. I think you can waste your time going after the bonus ships. Yeah. Because they're not going to be worth, like, probably four of the good ships or five of the good ships. Or the normal ships. Watch your overheating. Too. 
This is a great a game with great example of risk versus reward. Of like there's bonus things you can get or you don't get them. You can shoot really rapidly, which increases your chance of hitting something, but you overheat. Like some games only have one level of of risk versus reward. This has multiple different types of things. Then you have the shield. It's like, well, you have to maintain your shield, but you have to go after shooting the little star things to increase your shield. Is there a final wave uh, you beat to win the game? Um, probably not. Um, Thomas investigated the code, and he says it maxes... Oh, oh boy. I'm like, I, I just want to rapid fire, and then you forget. Oh, come on, can't. move! It's not moving. I hate this so much. It's like drifting with you. I'm trying not to drift. Oh, it's it's like sometimes you move rapidly and sometimes you're it, they're like drifting with you and that's yeah. exactly what happened on that level. I was doing very well until yeah, that were. level. Yeah, and then it all. It's like it's all nothing. Parts. I'm like cr going to the right and the left and I'm slowing down, but I'm wondering if you're overheating, you move slow more slowly. Ooh. Because it seems to get worse. Let's your your drag seems really, really slow when you're... Let's just test that out. Overheat. I think you're dragging. I don't know. Or maybe it's just the movement. Like, it could be one or the other. Look at, yeah. I think I, I think almost said that. You're dragging more. So you really need to not overheat. And like what I did at the beginning that's of that level, slow. which was I was shooting too much, and then it just screwed me. So maybe that's that's the problem. You have to be very deliberate with your shot. Um, I don't know. It's hard to say. It's hard to say whether it slows down. I think it, like, just watch how fast that is, and it's like medium. I don't. I know. I think I don't think it's affecting it. Then we we'll go overheat. Yeah, but it depends on the direction you're going and the, sh the direction of the shifts. No, I don't. Think I don't it think it does. Difference. But I was having a hard time dodge, like just getting out of the, getting them out of my field okay. of view. I have to die because. Wasting time on level one. Ten points. <laughs> Prow seven. Is there a final wave you beat to win the game? I don't think so. No. I think it, they said it just keeps just going. Repeats. Just repeats. You make it to level twenty. Then yeah. That's okay. Anything beyond level twenty is the same, basically. Yes, in terms of challenge. Uh, yeah. can't imagine level 20. Has anyone ever gotten to level 20? Well, if you want to calculate out uh, what Thomas's top score would be approximately in terms of levels. I don't know. I don't know because it's variable depending on the bonus ships you get. So yep. I think he probably got to around 15. Yeah. It would seem from that score. Yeah. Because he got 6,000. Maybe even level 20. Mm -hmm. 300, is that good? Yeah, it is. Um, that's a good round. Because I've got two bonus ships. Too much firing. guys out here somewhere there he is
What? Where did that come from? Oh, I need it. I need that star. No, I definitely need the star. Where's the star? There it is. What? Might be gone now? I don't know. Nope. There you go. It. Got it. Good job. Thank you. Oh, I think the ending has already come. Yeah. Not too bad yet. I can't get Well, off. the shots are slow. Yeah. I think that's the one end. More. Oh, well, there's no, one there's more. There's one straggler. One more. Thinks oh. he's tough. You can, you can still cycle up. Decent. Not many bonus ships happening. What, what wave are you on? This is wave five. Mm. What? what? Just happened. Oh my god. I don't know if you get an increase in score at all, really. I think you you generally get about three hundred a level. Um. Oh, you mean it, it increases in per level? Yeah, like 300 on... a level is good, and sometimes you get less than that. If you're on wave 5, you've done 4 levels, and you're at 900. But you can get 300 on the first level. Hmm. So it's like, it's. I'm not sure True. if the points really go up, it just gets harder. That's terrible. I, 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 <laughs> I almost want to, like, grab a piece of pap paper and count out, like, okay, this is how many things you shot. And then, right. And then then work out how much each, each is, but... Um, Nope. I'm sure that's. I'm sure those are worth more. They have to. Yeah. Be. No. You. You. There's you're, no you're, point if they're not. Your score goes up quite a bit when you when you shoot the bonus ships. There we go. Full. I got my high score at wave 16. Oh, I, wow. said I said 15. 15. You're pretty pretty close then. That was a lot more. That was a lot more. I was at... 900? 900. Yeah. Yeah. So that was a lot more. Yeah, so maybe it is going I up I did shoot two bonus ships. Mm. And the bonus ships make a big difference, I find. I think they yeah. do. Like a couple hundred. Yeah. Worst one. You kind Wasting of hope. time. Might almost be like worth not going after that. Time. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. For your score, I think it is. We figured that out in, in wave one that it increased your score significantly. Yeah. Oh, yes. You don't always get them. Uh, oh. Change directions. Never change directions. Mm -hmm. oh, done? Okay. Full shields? I'll always be happy with full shields. Mm. So you got a lot of bonus ships, but not a lot of other ships. So yeah. really, it didn't go up very much. So like you... it went up 200. So yeah. I wasted... I'm not going to go after that ship. It takes too long. Mm. It's too hard. It overheats you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the wave 16, you're a machine. Yeah. yeah. That's from S. Ramirez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's the master of all games. Except for this one, apparently. That's not an easy one. He'll get there. <laughs> Maybe the bonuses don't matter so much at the higher levels. You get more for the ships? I don't know. Or you just need to hit a lot of everything at the end of the day. Yeah, if you're going after the bonus ships and... You've avoided every other ship. Yeah, you're then not you're gonna, not going to do too well. Because say these are worth 50, which seems about right. Mm -hmm. And the bonuses are worth... 150 or something. 150. Yeah. Then there's a point where it's, you should not go after 
Yeah. And I think those sideways flying ones are, are they bother. take a long time to get, yeah. The white thing. Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Don't shoot the ships. Oh, no. Oh. But they're gone now. Oh, it's okay. Wave seven, that's pretty good. You're over. What yeah. did you do last time when you hit wave eight? You were 23? Mm. 23? 20, yes. And when so I you're at 22 wave at wave seven. So you're you're Ooh, ahead in your yeah. score. Yeah. yeah. And I ended up with something just a bit more than that. Yeah, 25. Oh, my belly. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. oh, my God. Don't kill yourself. Get yourself. Thank you. Yeah, that's good. Oh my goodness. So many TARDISes. Oh, I got over. Okay, you're overheating. Yeah. So wait. Dot. Oh. Careful. Damn it. Careful, there's a lot of them. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Yeah. Oh, and that's the end of the wave. Yeah. Jeez. I'm going to have to try for some of these guys. Before it gets too hard. Yeah. I think this is about the last level you can kind of, Actively. Kind of play with them at. Yeah. What is guys left? There's at least one more. Come on. Careful. He's jumping around a lot. He is. Right there page. you go. Good job. Okay. See where you're at now. Not bad. Mm -mm. I'm gonna gain one shield. It's probably hey. my best hey. game so far. No. Oh, it's definitely my best game. Twenty-seven kittens Ooh. up here. He was really good cord. score. Hats off. Yep. Yeah. 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 That's going well. That's really well. All right. Wave eight is hard. So good luck. Yeah. If you get over three thousand, that would be very exciting. Is a chance, mm -hmm. especially if there's some bonus stuff happening. But. Uh, just just dodge and dodge and dodge. Just dodge. Dodge and dodge and dodge. Dodge and dodge and dodge. Don't Shoot overheat. what you can. Dodge dodge. Oh. <gasps> Careful. There you go. Don't, don't target things. Just dodge, man. <laughs> I can't. It's too hard. Or else I'll overheating. Yeah. Very quick once you hit weight. 28. Still good. You 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 did better than did your better. last high score. Yeah. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. 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 Done. <laughs> done. Yeah. 28's always, good. It's always good to do a little bit better. Yeah. You want to at least improve on what you had before. So. And I did. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I bet Tari's any better back. at shooting the bullets or dodging the bullets at, at those higher waves though. Yeah. That's really the killer. Getting there, pack rec EG. Yeah, slow. It's a slow it's improvement. Very slow. You hit wave eight, and it's like, ugh. It's it's it just, just yeah destroys. Yeah, ramps way up. Yeah. Okay. So, um, lots of fun, especially with the uh, premiere we had. Mm -hmm. Millie and Molly. On oh, the, great! On yes, the Atari I'm excited to play that on my own, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. um, so we made it up to level thirty one ish out of mm -hmm. 80 mm -hmm. which is not too bad yeah yeah i uh, thought we did well i i felt i was doing pretty good at the game so excellent puzzle game and it's a nice ramp up with games like that you want them to slowly increase so you're learning the logic of it as you go yeah and it ramps up nice and slowly the easy levels are easy and you're learning the mechanics of it and yeah you want you want um you want to hit those harder levels but you want a nice ramp up to them so that you're you're figuring it out as you go. So yeah, yeah. really fun, really and, fun game. And, and learning the mechanics yeah. of it. As yeah, you I like up. that a lot. Um, where's my chat? There and I'm excited for the Wi-Fi plus cards and seeing how we can make yes. that work for us too. Yes. I mean, we can't play games over the internet because there aren't any, but we'll yeah. be able to be downloading games off the internet yes. and playing it on the Atari. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so we've got two of these carts, one for future use for for playing two-player games over the internet, yeah. which is going to be super fun. Yes. Um, so hopefully we can premiere the first game ever played on two Ataris over the internet. Nice. And there's a very good chance that that's going to happen. Um, because now I have the hardware and I just need the... Didn't they have something that did that before? No. Um, not on real Ataris. Okay. That other thing that they yeah. showed was just downloading games. Oh, I not see. Not playing the cool. games over the internet. Yeah, that would be very fun. Yeah. And they've played it through emulators yes, over the internet, yes. which we did on which the show. Which we have done, yeah. yeah. But not two Ataris, mm -hmm. like real Ataris mm -hmm. hooking up to the internet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As far as I know, I don't want to claim 100%, because many, many things have been done on the Atari mm -hmm. over the years. Um, we also played uh, Shades, which is a great yeah. game. It just needs a Challenging. couple tweaks. Well, and it would be... Yeah, I think... Uh, an awesome game. We only played it a few times, too, and I felt you like I better. was getting better at it as I yeah. went along. The The shades of green are very challenging to match up, but probably the more you play it, the more you, you your sort of eyes adjust to it, yeah. too. So, and the um, challenge but it was is fun. that it, was it is shades of green. Yeah. Because if they were all different colors, like yeah. pink and blue... and It kind of makes you wonder if the more you play it, the more your brain adjusts to, to noticing the differences. Like, that's yeah. kind of an interesting concept. Well, when of... we were doing those tests, it did take a second for the... Like, it showed four different bars of yeah. colors... And one of them was just different. And at first you're like, they're all the same. And then for a, then after a second it went, ooh. And then you could see you the could, difference. You, your eyes adjust, so you wonder if your brain would adjust more quickly. So, yeah, yeah it was pretty neat. Yeah. Um, so I think it just needs minor tweaks. Don't, like, change it to reds and blues and stuff. No, no, no. I, I. So it's easily hacked. You just change the color codes. It's like yeah. numbers. Yeah. And if it had a reset... Somebody could put a reset in the loop. Yeah. In the game code, especially when it's done. You just put it in that area. Mm -hmm. The game's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's the only tweaks it needs. And you have a very decent uh, uh, matching, color matching game. Nice. Yeah. And Starfire, I'm very happy. We we're able to push a little bit further and get a higher score. Both of us got higher scores, I think. Yeah, I yeah. think so. Yeah. 2844. Is better. I'm yeah. still skeptical about getting Again, that patch 3, score, I think you need to get better at waves 8 and 9. I think like, that's exactly it. If you can do yeah. 8 and 9, you can probably get up to 3,500 with maximizing your score. Thomas's suggestion of practicing wave 9 is going to be the key. Yeah. Because I have to beat wave 9 to get, to get 3,500 yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, and Esmeralda says, I, yeah, I'll just have to keep that. 26 has the scores after each wave. And it, you can see oh. you have a few good waves in there. And then some you don't increase all that much. That's like his. between four to that's five. His. I think that's, that's his run. He went up to six, six, seven, one. Oh, I see. Yeah. So you can kind of see how. He did really well in wave two. Look at yeah. That <laughs> yeah. That's a really like, good wave two. You must have got a lot of bonus stuff in yeah. wave two. Yeah. That's up to six. Yeah. And oh. then it's a slow increase yeah. a little a little bit later. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he beat it on level seven, the 3,500. Yeah. So it's about maximizing score. I think he's just really good at shooting. Like, if he can get that going, at level seven, then I can definitely get the patch. If you're, if you're getting them at single shots. Yep, and getting all of them. And you're just, you're just boom, very boom, precise, boom, boom. then yeah, you, you yeah, yeah. Because That's... it's a timeout. So if you're hitting as many ships as you can right. before the timeout, then, then yeah. So that maybe makes sense. don't go after the bonus ships because they are quite know. a distraction. Maybe. And they slow you down maybe. quite a bit. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, maybe I was a machine. Yeah. I, it's, it's, yeah, it's, so it's we have to figure good. out how to achieve Thomas's score. Yeah. <laughs> he had the patch at the way seven. The yeah. thing we have not done is just gone after ships and avoided. That's got to be bonus. the next the next attempt. Yeah. yeah. My best Starfire was 4,000. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Good job, That's Nathan. amazing. Yeah. Um, so, great games today. Lots of fun, as per usual. Yes. Yeah, they were good games. Next show, we're going to have a, another big show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Ninjish Guy in Low Res World. Nice. Uh, exclusive final cartridge build release of that game. Um, don't know what else I'm going to put in there, because that's quite big, and I want to try and finish that game. Mm. legitimately 
So we're going to be playing it on an Atari. Yeah. We did it on emulator and we were rewinding last time. Mm -hmm. There's one level that I know is the sticking point. It's where you have to, there's a block in the center. There's a, a platform that circles that block. You have to jump on that platform, duck immediately so you don't get pushed off. And then it travels around. And then at the top, there's some other thing that you have to, to dodge. jump over and dodge. Mm -hmm. And then you jump off. Mm. And that, I remember that. I died over and over and over yeah, and over on the emulation version. So I had yeah. to keep rewinding it. Oh, wow. Need bonus ships too. I only tried the only ships and see. I tried only the ships. Oh, yes. For shooting those those stars. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, you he says avoid... you'd need bonus ships too. Oh, I've tried them. only the ships and seem to only get a low score. Oh. And that's what I was finding too. The bonus ships really did increase your score. So you do need to go for both. I think it's about pr precise shooting. But you were trying to get the bonus ships and you were avoiding the other ships. And I think you just need to, if you're struggling, go back to the ships. Because if you spend too much time on the bonus ships. I think avoiding the ones that go across the screen. Those are just yeah. too slow. Yeah. The other ones, so quick. Yeah. Even the... The invisible one's quite yeah. quick. Or maybe it's just like, shots, okay, though. you give yourself five seconds. If you get the bonus shit in five seconds, that's great. If not, you move on and start hitting other things. Like if you spend too much time. I don't know. I There's don't know. This sunken cost fallacy of like, well, you've got it to a point. Yeah. Why not shoot it two more times and get it yeah it's that's kind of I mean. worth finishing off that bonus ship yeah but that bonus ship the number of shots it stays that color so if you if you scroll around and hit a few I other guess. things and go back to it yeah. i think you can spend too much time but anyway um and you then just need to be precise <laughs> next sunday we are going to be playing low res racer mm. um which is made by vhzc as well oh, nice. it's a long forgotten game that yeah. i've never played and i was just looking through his games that he made it's like oh uh, then we're going to be playing the uh, RC7 build of Robot City, if not a later build. Okay. It looks finished, unless there's a big bug. Okay. But it was a very solid game before that. Um, then on the 6th of May, we'll be playing Aardvark for the 2020 Harmony Games. The Again? final score. Okay, yep. To try and beat Thomas. Okay. And then he'll beat me. And, and then <laughs> I'll do a bonus show and try and beat him in favor. <laughs> now come in second. Uh, and then um i haven't scheduled this but amoeba jump is the next game after that for the 2020 harmony games so i don't know when that starts mm. but that'll be scheduled in there sometime um and then on the th may the 13th we have the champ games secret new homebrew mm. i can only speculate what that might be mm. but i had an, an idea the other day about that what did I think? What game was it? Ah, oh, damn it. Now it's gone. But I was like, oh, yeah, that could be one. That could be it. But it's been discussed. Okay. The game I thought of, but not yeah. much. So okay. he might have forgot that we discussed that game. I don't know. As a possibility. Or he knows, remember. but he, yeah. Or he's just trying to fake us out and it's like, oh, yeah, it's this all yeah, along. He's got you. He's got it you. It was Satan's Hollows all along, but it's not that Saints one. Saints Hollows. Um, yeah. And that's it for upcoming games got a, quite a few scheduled mm -hmm. so thank you for hanging out with us this sunday is mm -hmm. it sunday it is oh sunday. it's the end of the weekend <laughs> so, it is sunday may yeah. the 9th is the next round okay mm -hmm. so we could play that on may the 10th so i'll schedule that in amoeba jump on may the 10th okay um that's awesome because i like to go right away mm -hmm. um i know people just mop the floor with me on Amoeba Jump. Oh, they Amoeba have, Jump is they amazing. They have insane yeah. scores, so it'll be really good to practice. Yeah. Today is Sunday. Still Sunday for 30 minutes. Depends on where you are in the world, but yep. yes. Yeah, for him. Yep. yep. Uh, hoping it's eyes. Don't know that one. I'll have to look that up. Yeah. Um, okay, thanks for hanging out. Yes. Uh, Thrust 26, Splendid Nut, Arena Foot. Yeah, having Packer fun on a VG. Sunday. Yeah, definitely watch the first part. It's a really fun uh, Million Molly. Uh, S. Ramirez 2008, uh, Prow 7, mm. uh, Jared Gray West, welcome and thanks for joining us. 06502, Captain Classic, Al Nefer, um, thank you so much for sending the plus carts. We'll put those to good use and I'll schedule that into some future show so mm. we can show the menu, show it working, 
show downloading a game. Very, very cool. Mm -hmm. uh, John Drill, thank you for joining us. VHZC as well. Cherigo mm -hmm. uh, West. Carl G. I think I said a 06502 already. Mm -hmm. uh, Nest Drog. Oh, I didn't even see that name. Awesome. Yep. Thanks for hanging out. Mm -hmm. Kev was here for a little bit. Yep. Uh, Muddy Funster, Ding Cuckoo. Oh my goodness, lots of names today. Yeah, it's good stuff. That's awesome. Yeah. Arcade game Eyes, sort of like Nibbler. Mm. Oh my god, I know the Nibbler game name, but I can't picture it right now. Yeah. I'll have to check that. Yeah. Um, need to retry my plus card with Al Nifer. Yeah, mm -hmm. Arena Foot has a plus card as well. So oh, good. we would be able to play with Arena Foot. A, a re with Arena Foot. Nice. If, a if we have a shared game. Yeah. Which it doesn't exist yet. Not so. yet, but hopefully. They could alter an existing game, an, yeah. an existing two-player, non-immediate need kind of game mm. where it goes back and forth. Yep. Thanks for hanging out. Um, yes, uh, stay safe yes. as well. And we will see you Keep on well. Wednesday. Yes. And so see you then. Bye. Thanks for hanging out. Bye-bye.